Hello, hello. How is everybody? So, I'm thinking I might be able to get Cyberpunk to actually run correctly if I just have them on different encoders. I wonder if that would work or not. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The fuck? Why is my hardcore... Obviously my hardcore mode is not off. But we could make it hard. Yeah, let's do hard. That's fine. Let's do hard today. Yeah, that's so weird. I'm surprised they don't give me an option to just... Hmm, whatever. Better auto-walk. No, we're not gonna tweak with all this today. Alright. So, might do a little bit of fallout. We'll see how I'm feeling. Might do a little bit of reacting to some videos later, if anyone's feeling froggy for it. Um, but it's been a bit, been a bit. Also, I might start drinking a monster just to give me a little bit of that, uh, energy, and oh yes, America, thank you. Mm-hmm. Dance! Hello, hello, Dance. How you doing? Thank you for the serotonin. It is much appreciated. How are you doing today? Hopefully faring better than yesterday. I go to the Jericho Cannon and give it a test run. Oh, yes. I feel like that might have crashed my game last time, but I don't remember. That's okay, though. Also, hopefully the internet's good. Had to restart my computer because I wasn't picking up my network. The weekend is here. I can finally breathe. Oh, yes. Thank goodness. It's got to be nice. Big ol' refresh. I feel like with my lifestyle, I tend to just not even be able to track the days anymore. Which I guess is, like, nice, but also... I don't know. A bit weird. Hard to describe. Let's see. No, 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 no. We know what we're doing. I'm not gonna wander around like crazy this time. I'm actually gonna try to accomplish something. Well, I'm glad to hear you at least got your power and everything is, like, all in the tippity-top shape. I feel like that's a regular occurrence for you. work exactly i feel like i imagine you live in like i don't know i feel like when i think of where you live dance i just imagine just like a city i don't know why that is how would one describe like urban suburban i'm not sure oh where is it jericho fusion cannon i can't pick that up hey, i know just the place to Yeah, I think maybe it's an encoder thing, and I don't think I can- I might have to install a modification for my OBS runner, too. I am managing. What is the alternative? <laughs> Spare. I live in a city. City, urban, neighbor. Okay, that's- that's what I imagined. I guess, which I think is why it always throws me off so much. When you say, like, things like the power is out just, like, regularly, I guess? Okay. Thank you. I'll- I have now confirmed it. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, oh no. Let's see. Man, blah, blah, blah. None of that is important. I need to drop some stuff. Wait. Mm. That's for a mission, isn't it? Oh, I moved this to hard, too. Okay, I gotta be on point, then. I gotta make sure I don't embarrass myself. We'll eat the- I can't eat the camping bread. It's too cute. We'll eat... I'll drink? Yeah, whatever. We'll drink. Dirty water. And then we'll eat, um... The fart moon. Try it. Nah, I need food. Food, food. Real food. Turkey? 
Do I got liquor or something? Not rare liquor? Do I got like real liquor? Do I got vodka? Do I got wine? Do I have beer? Can't drink iodine. Let's not drink iodine. Baiju? Fucking, it's because my rifle's 18 pounds. That's what it is. Okay, if we're getting there, we're all right. Are we reacting later? Would you like to do some reactions? I made a list of a couple videos that I thought would be uh, kind of cool. But I wasn't sure how everyone was feeling, because I know... <laughs> I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. Can I just give somebody my gun? You want my gun, Niner? You got you got carry weight? Don't touch. Carrying a little bit more than I thought you would. Not loving that. Okay. You can carry my shit I don't want to drink then. Yeah, yeah, like the common prayer. Some candles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be up, but it's kind of a bummer. Surviving an economic collapse. What to prepare now? <laughs> it's kind of a bummer. I mean, I'm not opposed to checking it out. I'm certainly not opposed. I don't... I don't know. It's the weird thing with streams, right? I know some people don't like watching bummer content. Or, like, they come to streams for all of that, like, hype energy uppityness. But I- what? what? What, America? But I don't mind. I feel like when I watch streams, it's so I can feel like I'm hanging out with somebody. Maybe that's just because I'm- I'm a sad, lonely peasant. <laughs> but usually most of the content I watch is so that way I can also react and or have somebody else also agree with me and, like, things are ridiculous. Probably why I talk to my TV so much. Although I can't blame the pandemic for that. I've just I've just been like that. That's just me. All right. I know you said something America. Oh, hold on. I bet you it's under God bless America. No. All right. Kill 6 billion demons. No, I haven't, but I what? That's the book you posted, right? I'll say the art looked really cool. I I feel like I should get around more to taking advantage of all of the content that's on the internet. But it looked phenomenal. I really liked the art. I can't... The name slips my mind of the artist, if I'm gonna be real. But it was giving me some, like, vibes of other things that I have read or seen. Excuse me. But it looked good. It definitely looked up my alley. What is that? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It gets even better. The story is epic too. Ooh, okay. Well, then I'll certainly check it out. Head to the Building America suggest. Gotcha. I don't know if I want to do what America's telling me, but I'll accept it. I'll have to keep it in mind, though. Is it free? I, I got the gist it was free, right? Like, it's just all online? Or is it like, um, like you can tip the, uh, makers of it? Just out of curiosity. All right. I didn't pick up ammunition. Bro. I looked at it too and I was like, I don't need that. What a fucking mistake. I also love the metaphysical and philosophical implication. It is 100% free too. Jeez. I wonder what they get out of it then. Is it kind of just like a fan supported type of work? Where like you can give bread if you so choose? Which layer is it? I'm gonna go here. I might mod the radio for this game. Okay, so we need. Is that not the ammunition, dude? Don't tell me. Yeah. 
why won't it I thought I fucking thought I had enough All right, let's try to drop the gun. Totally didn't mean that, dude. Totally didn't mean that. I'm so sorry. EC Pack MC. The fuck is an EC Pack MC Pack? Hold on, can somebody fucking assist me? What the hell is this gun? Yeah, you guys got anything? Good to see you again. Is there something I can do for you? Do you have ammunition for this thing? I mean, I guess she did. Our food stores are depleting faster than we anticipated. While the cold has kept our food edible longer, it also prevents us from farming. I have assigned Wendell to Jerky figure out a solution to our Hydrate, food. you're right, you're right. Perhaps broker a deal with a local <laughs> Thanks. You can support the artist by giving matters. bread, by buying merchandise, or by buying physical But it would oh. like us to know someone was helping him. He should be in the second floor cafeteria. Thank you in advance. He's not going great because the artist got very sick and then his wife just takes too many cooks. She wants to take care of him. And his wife yeah, makes sense. Dope Wendell? I'll keep you in my prayers. We'll be back for summer. Oh, well that's good to hear. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. All right. I like that option, especially so there's like a low entry and then you're like, you know what? This homie's a cool guy. Totally would support. Well, he never takes his sunglasses off. Ever. That should give you a clue. He wasn't wearing sunglasses. I'm also pretty sure if the old worlders could have tapped his ego as the power source, the Great War would have never started. All right. Thank you for your... I can't use a gun that doesn't have ammunition. Where's the girl? Where's the blonde? She's gotta she's gotta be here, dude. I can't do this mission without the ammunition. What can I do for you? I need ammo. I don't give a rat's ass if it's pre-war or I need ammo. Please. Whatever. Whatever. I guess. Thank you. I guess I won't do this mission right, then, because I come back and see me if you need a repair. Can't pick my brain about something. Do it. Are you hiding in somewhere? Bro. Yeah, whatever, I guess. Actually, let me pickpocket someone. They might have it on them. Well, I just had a C, dude. I don't know. All right. Doesn't work. That's fine. That's A-OK -okay with me, I guess. We'll go to a different mission. Sag. Because... Kill 10... I can't. So... The quotes and memorable moments are epic. Like, every single piece of dialogue is or will be relevant in time. Ooh, the first time you hear you heaven by violence. Like, what the fuck? And then later you're like, <laughs> I love that one. It's all just like one beautifully inter intermingled masterpiece. I love that. I think it's really hard to find, like, works lately that have, like, really impeccable writing. Because I, I don't know if it's just at least, like, with games, but, uh... Bacon with the biddies. Thank you so much, lad. It is much appreciated. How have you been, Bacon? I feel like it's been a while. How am I doing? Doing pretty good. I played a little bit of a uh, Burlington, a little Borderlands yesterday. But I've been doing pretty swell. Might be doing a little bit of video reactions later. And ah, uh, this music. Sometimes the music hits, and sometimes the music. Survival. 
doesn't hit. Nine. Iron Hand! Hello, hello. How you doing? I'm doing good playing Bur Burlington 2. I can't, I feel like I can't say biddies. Thank you so much for the biddies. It is much appreciated, Bacon. Thank you, thank you. Take more money. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Juggling work with kids and cooking AFK with headphones. Oh, understandable, understandable, Iron Hand. What you cooking? Always curious. That's my foodie of me. Foodie of me? My foodie self. Do I have a special thing for 69 biddies? If I don't, I should. Hmm. Hmm. You have brought something to my attention, Bacon. Hmm. World map. Are you thinking about getting- you can't fast travel while jumping up. Okay. Have you been thinking about getting the new Tiny Tina's game? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, bro? I demand a refund. Dude, I thought so too. I was like, what the hell? That should totally pop up. Hold on. You want me to get it set up so it can play? I kind of want it to... Nothing special for 69 biddies? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Let me check now. I am a little, a little confused. Let me check my- my shit. Me when I'm live checking my account. About. Alright. Oh. It doesn't have any for 69 biddies. You know what? I will though. I should add something in the future actually. My lead hacker skills and refund myself. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to set something up, because that'd be a good one. I'm hackers. My parents work for Microsoft. The writing is definitely as strong as the artwork. The community isn't sure if the artist really is that good, or if he mastered the art of weaving and evolving plot. Plots and plot holes. You know, it's kind of a harmony with both, though, right? Right? Easy Salisbury steak with mixed vegetables. Oh, I feel like it's been forever since I've had Salisbury steak. My diet lately... My diet is fucking... I think I pretty much live off of eggs, egg whites. I live off of egg whites, chicken, uh, mixed vegetables, bananas, peppers, tomatoes. That's pretty much what I eat. Just different forms of chicken, primarily. My gun isn't hacking? Oh no. Yikes. Bananas? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Is there gonna be some controversy with bananas now? It's gonna be like, so do you actually support the illegal trade of the drug cartel um, ravaging the farmers? Like fucking avocados? It's like, damn, you eat avocados? So you support Mexican drug cartels essentially taking advantage of all the farmers? <laughs> It's like, no, it's like... Bananas are like dog ass, they taste like dick cheese. I gotta say, how do you know what a dog's ass tastes like? I hate bananas because my mom loves that shit. Honestly, I think I eat bananas purely because it's like the only way for my protein shakes to have a decent consistency. And that's my main reason. Am I hitting it? There we go. I see you cowering. Come on now. We may have overthrown a few democratic countries in South America for our fruit corporation. <laughs> I'm making an assumption. <laughs> I don't actually know how dog ass tastes like, quite frankly. Yeah, that's my only reason for it. It's because it's cheap. I can get like five bananas for 60 cents. 
versus like a thing of strawberries is like three bucks. And so I just go for the bundle of bananas because then I just freeze that shit and then I blend it up and then I throw it in with some protein powder and then I fucking chug my weight in protein powder since I'm not at the point of dry scooping yet. Oh fuck, where is he? The, you buy this so you must support this is literally why the mentality- I know, right? I know! It's like, can we all just relax a bit? Line long, I thought they still waiting for this. Oh, understandable gas mask, understandable. You know, I will respect though, I will definitely respect you not liking bananas. That's totally fair. It's just, I have this like weird diet routine now of what I pretty much consume. Honestly, I feel like you guys would probably hate the shit I eat. Only because I'm one of those people that track, like, macros. And so it can be kinda uptight. Like, so much fucking protein, dude. I'm tired of it. This gun sucks. So much better. Get the fuck away, America. You will die. You will die, I promise. Oh, no, you're perfect. Well, not like, you know what I mean. Shut up, America. You don't, you know, you, whatever. I didn't realize we were gonna have so many banana haters. Let me guess, you guys hate pineapple on pizza too, huh? Is that what you're gonna say? <laughs> Next you're gonna say that it's- that uh, you shouldn't have pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Me. <laughs> when everyone unsubscribes. <laughs> oh no. I should change my diet to most- most tasty. I can't seem to shake off stress smoking. That's exactly why I n I've never ever tried a cigarette, because I feel like I don't want to open the ability to have that as a coping mechanism. You know what I'm saying? I like be able to logic my character's skills affect how good and fast the gun functions. Yes, yes. Me now knowing the type of shit people go through for getting certain guns in Borderlands makes me have like a whole new respect to the intricacies of that game. Because in this, I just, I don't know, I pick shit up and I shoot and it kills and I go, all right, that was pretty good. Final piece is okay. It is actually pretty good. Everyone always has to talk shit about. I really thought we were gonna be homies, dog. This isn't bad, just doesn't belong on every pizza. My favorite pizza is Hawaiian pizza. Actually, you wanna know my favorite pizza? My favorite pizza is pineapple and spam. If that's not available, bouncy. If that's not available, I usually go black olive pineapple. And if that's not available, I'll do chicken. But I never have pepperoni pizza. And honestly, I don't really even like cheese that much on my pizza. It's always too much. Everything belongs on pizza. Only people will judge you. Your palate will thank you. <laughs> exactly. Bro, if you ain't doing math down to the millionth decimal, you are bad at BL2. <laughs> no, I can feel that the numbers and how it scales in that game are insane. The damage and health and the fucking shield sizes, it's like... Some- <laughs> Why I do it like that? Ah! I fucking broke my leg, bro. Fuck. Okay, I think we're on hard. I'm on hard, right? I better be. Hard. Hard. What's extra? Can I do extra hard? Very hard. I've never played Fallout on very hard. Let's see how bad I am. Kind of excited for this recollection. I've reached visual damage cap multiple times. Really? I don't know if I ever have. 
But interesting. Hmm. What other controversial things would people not like? Um, I like chocolate powder on popcorn. Um, also, I mix bananas with my egg whites and I put syrup on them. It's like French toast, but without the bread. That's a, that's a new recipe that I've discovered recently. Are you fucking... I didn't like him. Seemed like he was trying to get me in trouble. I don't know. Capping damage isn't the whole point of Borderlands be extra and do bullshit. That's what I thought, right? What the fuck is wrong with your opinion? I'm just saying, I'm just, I don't know. There are things that I've heard people don't like. I'm just trying to cover all our bases, you know? You gotta know what kind of person you're watching. <laughs> uh. Fucking death, dude. Okay, I am not here for all the corpses you got hanging around. I can tell you that much. Not into it, dude. Dude, I heard of the most ridiculous fucking news story. I was watching Hassan earlier, just just to give. What? And he was watching this news story about this fucking woman who is like anti-abortion or whatever. And so she fucking stole like 120 fetuses. Who would steal 120 fetuses? Who? Why? She was like, I wanted to give them a proper funeral, so I stole a bunch of remains. <laughs> God. Try cereal with apple or orange juice instead of milk. Doesn't work for chocolate cereal, but honey bunches of oats, etc. There are some good combos. Hmm, interesting. That doesn't sound like it'd be too bad. I don't know the last time I've even had cereal, interestingly. I don't care if I'm crippled. It's part of my lifestyle now, okay? Kinda kinky. Not into it. Also, I don't try to deal the most damage. I'm just having fun. But sometimes I just want to see big numbers when I shoot someone's head with a the full upper body of someone. Oh hell yeah! I I get that. I've always I felt that way with Duke Nukem. A lot of people hated the game, but like I was just in there for just like roids, energy drinks, and tits and guns, and it delivered all of the above. So I had nothing to complain about, you know. Eh, I don't have anything in here. But I do need to talk to a doctor again, because I can't... Actually. Oh. I don't have any working limbs. They're all on the verge. Well, that's a shame. Time to go in more. I want to ruin their party. What you got on you, lad? Rata? Hell yeah. Cigarettes? No, thank you. That better have been there before. I better not be dealing with any alien shit. I'm gonna be sad about it. I want to deal fuck you damage into your fuck you. Yes. Uh, capping is a failure balancing in game design. I would agree. It's like we we didn't actually think people were gonna get this far. No, just full fucking rampage? Yeah. Totally behind that. I hate having my leg broke. And I don't like that there's so many... Oh no. There's a lot- Oh god! Oh wow! Wow, alright, you guys, fine, fuck it, fuck it, yeah. Well, uh, it sounds like you're compensating, dude. I don't know why you need such a big weapon. I don't- I don't know about that. Oh, his name is BTK. I thought his weapon was called BTK. I'm a dummy. Die. America, please.
Please don't fall. Please. Please. Cool. Oh, all right. You handled your shit. Good. Good. Good job. My zero is not the best. Your build ever can be solo in a raid boss. No. Can you take down a whole S-band and army with a gun that is insulting the enemy and throwing purple balls at enemies? Yes. Priorities, right? Gamers will always get this far, so not figuring it out or participating in this, that's pretty lazy. Yes, yeah, small dick guaranteed. Small dick energy, bro. Yeah, I would I would certainly agree. I feel it's like I almost enjoy more when game devs know that the people playing the game are going to break the game and so they have little like Easter egg secrets for those people who break the game. I love that. Don't get stuck. And don't die. You know, there's a lot designed in here, but there's not a lot. Mm, not loving it. Not loving it. Sorry. One of my favorite things used to was to break Destiny with overpowered bills, the rage and the soul sustaining it. <laughs> Uh, it reminds me of, a. Uh, you ever, like, find the guy, if you, if you played Fallout 3, he's in Megaton, and you have to, like, weirdly, like, clip glitch crawl up your, like, way to, like, talk to a guy that's overlooking Megaton, and you'll be like, how did you even get up here? And I appreciate that. Although if I had a small dick, I definitely would carry a fucking huge weapon that is three times the size of me. <laughs> uh, that's what it means, hey? Just a little compensation. I don't- Oh my- I seen this truck today. Had a bunch of really, like, dumbass, like, Trump stickers or whatever. I'm- I shouldn't even necessarily go after, like, the political ideology, per se. Is that a bomb? Please don't. And it had one sticker that said, Freedom over fear. And it had, like, two other stickers. But the fourth sticker said, Biden from Biden? And I was like, so are you scared of the old white dude or nah? Because I thought you said literally two seconds prior something quite contradictory. Oh my gosh, phone. Not right now. Not right now. America, do you know how to get out of here? Because I don't know how to get out of here. Never mind. I didn't need you anyway. I figured it out. It's fine. You can have a small dick and the girth of a coke can. No. Beer can dick. No. That, that doesn't seem like that would be good. But who am I, you know? Who am I to say? Sounds like it'd be a bit uh, peculiar. There's a meme that you need to hide your children from Biden because he sniffs little girls. Isn't that just a thing old guys do? Don't old guys just have a problem doing that? Old men are weird. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna have like a period T to that one. I think maybe we should just stop having men that are like fucking 80 ruling the country. Anyways, all I'm gonna say is the B-Shield is a very poorly balanced shield in BLT and it can make a fucking level 2 weapon seem like- Oh my god, yeah, I used the B-Shield in that in BL2 and I was like, this is... Am I a god? You know what I'm saying? I think Fox did a supercut and him sniffing people and it became a thing. It was pre biden for present though, it's an old thing. Interesting, I did not- Trump literally says grab him by the pussy. The man literally, I feel like, had, like, the most sketchy-ass photos with his own daughter, like, sitting on his lap as a teenager. Like, you, I have a weird feeling that Trump is really so narcissistic that he is into his daughter. Allegedly, I have no idea that is all based on opinion. Just a disclaimer. <laughs> I hope I don't become weird when I'm old. Old men are just fucking weird. Like, I guess maybe I shouldn't say old men. That's kind of, that's kind of like misandrist. Let's just say I feel like old people start getting kind of wacky. But I've heard some weird shit, dude. 
Weird shit. I think anyone under 15 and over 30 shouldn't be trusted with political power. We need young and idealistic people who value life and vision. That would be such an interesting experiment. I bet Donald Trump is from Alabama. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, no, it's some weird- it's weird though. Skidmore? I need to go to Skid- Don't! Enough! <laughs> Enough! How can I miss that shot, dude? Okay, Niner, you really gotta get away from this guy. Uh, oh my god, America, you're gonna fucking die! Oh my god, America. Here's the thing, if you're gonna mod your gun, you gotta be good with it. If you want a pink gun, you just can't be a weak link, alright? As I fucking miss. Oh, 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 oh! Head shot. Not good enough, though. Not too shabby. Why are we talking about skid marks by skid mark, or do they mean shit stain? It's skid more, but I went the same. I went. I went down the same tube. If Trump didn't fuck or doesn't fuck his gun, you always look thirty minutes. I, right? It's weird energy, dude. Weird fucking energy. And it's so true, too. Am I allowed to talk shit about white people? I feel like I should be allowed to. I feel like the whole, like, stereotype of white people being, like, into that shit is so fucking true. Especially the ones that still have, like, the ideas of, like, pure-bloodedness. Like, I know you fuck your kids. Allegedly, that's not a fact. Allegedly. <laughs> Does that make it better? I will fucking give my life to make sure I don't gotta reload this, okay? We good? Y'all good? Didn't he try to kiss his daughter once? Doesn't he kiss his daughter? Period? Trump has mommy issues and Ivanka has daddy issues. That isn't a theory as much as a fact, so yeah. Good god. Oh no. We got another. Can you stop trying to make out with all the Wendigos, America? We're really just trying to cap some all these. And you're on. Good shit. Good shit. Alright. Yo, seventh eye. You good? You want me to wait or something? I killed everyone. You want me to- I can wait. I can wait if you're feeling a little shy. It's fine. We cool now? Okay. From what? More biddies! Thank you for the biddies, Bacon. Strange, this might be the only type of relationship still allowed to be universally rid ridiculed. Oh my gosh. More money, more biddies. I was just- I'm just saying, I, I don't know. It's just weird. Weird fucking energy. That's why it's like, okay, god forbid Biden sniffed somebody. He didn't literally say, like, Ten. I need ten more for another batch. Okay, okay, bacon. Thank you for the biddies. All right, seventh eye, come at him. Oh fuck. fuck. 
We're good. A new badge doesn't appear to exist. Never mind. Yeah, it looks good. The ba the badge looks good. All your relations are universally ridiculous. Meanings have no restraints or shame. I was gonna say, I feel like they just... It depends, right? Usually people have more free reign on subjects for which that they are more closer to? Maybe it makes me leery that he groomed his children. Oh! Well, sh yeah. Yeah, of course. Please, please, come on now. I'll wait, give me an hour. How's an hour? I'll give you an hour. There's no one here, bro. Seventh Eye, come on. What if I talk to you from the back? What if I walk away and then I come back? He's not alive, right? No, he looks dead. He, he looks dead. It has nothing to say to me. Is this not- am I dumb? Return the data to 7th Eye. Do you- did I fuck up? I swear to god, I didn't drop it. Whatever. Whatever. Not my problem. Let's do fourth eye then. Let's see if this one stopped being broken. Fear me, need a drink. Understandable dance. Understandable. Alright, that one's kind of broken too. Sick. Alright. Let's try another one. Ask around town about the caravan. I don't care. Talk to Daniel Way. Kill Daniel Way. Alabama Blues. I can do that. Oh, we're killing a man? Alright. I can- okay. Alright. Taint Sandwich. Jupacabra. <laughs> do you want to be called Taint? Or you want to be called Jupacabra? Anyway, how's it going? It's been a while. How's your- Damn, he's got a fucking schnoz on him. Shit! That was not meant to be disrespectful. I like big noses. They're fine. You got something to say. Yeah, I fucking do, bro. Where are you from? I don't care. Alright. Uh, Taint it is, then. I'm from up north, or what's left of it. You probably wouldn't know the place. Not unless you've gone past the Bleeder Sanctuary. Not that there's any reason to. His forehead I'm looks like the Mojave. Gone long gone. Why would I kill him, though? Trying to collect a debt. And trying to collect I don't remember why time. I would kill this man. Do you now? Well, <laughs> if that's what you are, then I'll be sure to take you out. What? That's not me. That sounds like Radic. I knew he was here. In fact, he's right behind you, bruh. Who's Radic? The man I'm gonna kill. What are you talking about? Radic is a raider. The worst I've ever seen. He killed my family everyone else in the town I lived in. I promised I'd make him pay for what he did. Now oh, he's gotten spine scared crack. since someone else Anyways. did his dirty work. Listen, That's I'm so stuck here. No, but you, you can end this. Interesting presidents? Oh, fuck Bring yes. Agreed. Okay, your rage has consumed you. You need to let this go? I don't agree with that. Yeah, we'll hurry up. Cause I ain't gonna wait. I don't know. Long. Sometimes I feel like there needs to be justice. Is that a rude thing to say? 
I feel like I I want to know the fucking guy who is the bad guy. Senior citizens shouldn't be leading anything. I agree. It's like you had your time to shine, dude. Like I said, Ukraine has a comedian president. How much better can you get? Fucking agreed. He has been doing quite well. Hi, 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 hi. Pussy. Oh my god, are you okay? It is. I'm looking for a good time. Dude, it is so fucking cold out here. You need a. You need to zip your jacket up. Suit yourself. You need a good night's sleep, you need some soup, and you need some pants. If you want if you want to do that job, the more power to you. But you don't got to catch a cold. You know what I'm saying? Get that coochie bacon. <laughs> uh I feel like if you get flagged enough bacon, I might end up just modding you, so that way you don't have to have your- You do not have to be silenced. Me when I try to give that lady a tip, though. Ah, the duality of bacon. <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah, right back to back. No, I would agree, though. Ukraine's president's doing a phenomenal job. I have to give very, like, good props to him for, like, stepping up. And you can say anything. ANYTHING! Whoa, 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 whoa. You see... Taint? I don't like that. I'm gonna go with Chupacabra. I don't know what was wrong with Chupacabra, though. Am I gonna get in trouble for calling you Chupacabra? I'll be modded to literally just not have to be silenced. That's a little too much power. Uh, I mean, that's what I gave it to dance for. He has the right to do things, if he so wishes. I don't know, no one ever wants to be mod. So sometimes I just have to offer it to them. Charlie? Why am I- oh my god, can I ever fucking get to the right place? We're looking for a dickhead raider, right? Okay, I need to not step on the counters. That's my bad, my fault. Oh, sick, I went- <laughs> Bacon! Come on, you're making me question my- my idea now. Come on! What you after? Actually, maybe it- hmm. I'll have to see, there's also VIP, maybe. That, uh, I know it's a parental, but I'm not sure. He left. Don't know where, don't really care. Oh, but he did leave something for you. Power where? corrupts. Bad. Where is he? Where's Radek? Holy fuck, why are you on my cock, Daniel? Jeez. Joking. Actually, I actually have no clue what I do with that part. It's like, what are you gonna say? The word, the only like really bad things that somebody could do with like being a mod, I guess, would be if I modded them when they were like, "Now is my time to be offensive and say a slur," and then I'd be like, "Well, now you're banned. Was it worth it? You know what I mean?" I'd probably just send more coochie messages. <laughs> uh. Damn it. I. Uh... I was so close. <sighs> you did all you could. Here, no, we could have did more, I feel. Sure. My wife gave it to me, but it's yours now. I've wasted enough time here. It's time to get back on the road. You can't now say that? Coochie? No, you can't say coochie. Coochie. No, you can't say coochie, I guess. Coochie is a funny word. I don't know why coochie's not allowed. Like, I can say, like, dick, penis, cock. I think I can say those words. What's another word? Schlong. Yogurt slinger. Wand. Phallus. Uh... I don't know what other ones. What other words? <laughs> Bacon. Uh, okay, so you also can't say suck my penis cock dick. We don't like that, I guess. I mean, I think it, it's fine. It's fine. I would argue, though, it's probably hard for Automot to differentiate between, like... Hi again. How can I help you? Can I say this? Limp dick trickle? Yes. Limp dick trickle? That's fine. Apparently. 
I was thinking about that. I was listening to an Eminem song, and I find it weird that they censored clitoris. I'm like, so suck my dick? That's cool. Clitoris is too much. How dare you say such ma imaginary words? Welcome back. Oh, oh. I should change my name to that? No, you're gonna get banned off of here again. They're gonna report your account. No. Later, kid. Dude. Then again, there was another person whose username was Cuck My Wife, and then he ended up getting removed from Twitch too. Meat Rod, Cream Cheese Creator, Richard's nickname, The Beaten, Cream Shooter. Oh, all right, okay. We're doing pretty good. I don't feel like I know as many words for a, for a badge. I like coin slot, axe wound. Um, I don't got any other ones than that. We can't say the CU word. We're not allowed to say that. That one's banned. Did you know you're also not allowed to say arsehole apparently anymore? Like, the B-U-T-T. -T. Like, you can say asshole, I guess, but I don't think you can say, like, butt. The butt one, I guess. Twitch also said that I think you're not allowed to say damn, but I don't know why. Kind of peculiar. Oh, shit, I'm fucking running out of missions to do. Hmm. Taco, paint bucket, coochie, hand replacement, strange, whole vagana. You can't say vagana? Whole vagana is auto modded? Bruh. Dude! Why? What's even the. <sighs> Come on. I wonder if it's just because I've manually approved a bunch of names for like dicks, but I haven't manually approved a bunch of things for vag. I don't know. Hole. Vagana is not allowed. Hole is not allowed. Hole and vagana. Okay. Hmm. Hole is not allowed when it's part. Okay. I see what you did there. I, I see what you did there. <laughs> Pull alone is fine, but when it's mixed with another word, it's now becomes not allowed. We really shouldn't test Automod. I feel like they would, they would get upset. Yeah, that's the only one I can do, so I'll do this one, I guess. But I might have to up I might have to update this um to be. No, you said the bad word. No, I don't know if it's technically not allowed or not. But I've seen a couple posts saying that they, like, formally removed it. But my thing is, if that's the case, then why didn't Automod catch it? You know what I'm saying? If my legs broke, my legs broke. It is... Dude, I'm so sorry that the upstairs is loud. But they're still doing construction up there, and so I was gonna try to ignore it. But I thought they'd stop after five, and it's now six, so I don't know, man. Wet hole salami? Salami's really not allowed, dude. What the hell? That sounds like that's Twitch's problem. I- that sounds like we're just talking about some sandwiches, bro. <laughs> yeah, I wanna see what he's saying, bruh. I don't know, y'all wanna watch some dramatic- Oh! Do you wanna watch the video where it's like talking to a- uh... I don't think I can say in, so let's just say out cell. Let's do that, because then I can save it if we're gonna be fucking saying a bunch of gibberish. I can say fuck you, but not salami. Yes. 
that is the world that we live in. Let's do that. Because also, my game's kind of broke. And my fucking shit's not working, which is fine. It's fine. It's all good. Here we go. I will allow it. Allow. 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 Deny? Gucci is fine. It's all fine and dandy. Maybe not that one for being aggressive. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. Bacon! Okay, we've added the terms. We've added the terms. It's all good now. It's all good. It's all good. Why no salami? I don't know why salami got flagged. Maybe if you said salami hole, that might not be allowed? What do you mean? I'm not aggressive? <laughs> well, I don't want somebody else coming into my chat being like, fuck you, fuck you, suck my cock. Cause then I've been like, the one time I'm like, auto mod, what the hell, dude? I fucking, oh, we're gonna drink a monster. I wasn't sure if I was gonna drink one. But I'm feeling it. Monster. Gently fuck me with the chase. Jack is smarter than it should be. Ooh. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Let's say let's say it's a good thing. Let's get fucking radical, dude. Salami holder, meat locker, ham doctor. Oh no. Oh no. All right, so, oh, another one I really like. Have you ever seen the, uh, actually, let's see if this works this time. I'm not sure if this command works anymore. Let's go with, I think maybe it's just this one. I don't fucking know. One of those might have worked. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry. I'm not a professional. Since I think we're gonna go on to some- we're just gonna go on to some bullshit right now. That's what I'm feeling. What kind of title should I even have? I don't know. Title's fine. Title doesn't even matter. I don't read titles, personally. Anyway. <laughs> Come. That's fine. Fine. So, we have this. I was also thinking we could possibly even watch the fucking- absolute horrible you see people in like the anti-work movement on reddit i don't really fully understand the anti-work movement damn come isn't a damn come i i don't know i don't know if i'll allow come i don't know if i want damn come to be allowed i don't i don't know <laughs> This was a list of some things that I threw together that I thought could be kind of interesting, but I kind of want to watch the top one. Just because he self-identifies as such, and I've never actually fully watched the video. You know what I'm saying? And I see him around in a couple of these videos, but I'm a very auto-mod-friendly chatter, for <laughs> for real. I'm gonna have to get, like, a, a, like, Twitch extension or whatever, so that way I can like more efficiently deal with twitch chat because it's not like i have like people blowing it up or anything but <laughs> i just have a lot to moderate sometimes uh so i don't i don't know if you guys have seen this but i was feeling like watching it just because he's fucking ridiculous dude i'm also pretty sure that they must film like multiples of these in a day because i don't think he changed his clothes and i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt that this was just the first day okay all right perfect we'll do this we'll just start from the top oh hey this actually looks pretty decent okay we'll start from the top because i'm curious i don't know can this shit look any better this is their idea of 1080 is your opinion towards women it looks like ass. I'm so sorry, that's rude of me. You know what, they're better than me. They actually post YouTube videos. Cheers to you. <laughs> Indeed. We're gonna do a... a clink. Alright. 
Let's do auto. Okay. If you could summarize your okay. opinion towards women. Like what I think of them. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen this video? Because as a preference, I feel like this is just going to be a bit of a mess. And I, I wish I could... I don't know if I can say incel, but I'm not calling him one. I just, like, that's what it's... We're just going to call him outsell. I'm just going to say outsell. Outsell. Me what? Yes. I do think they are very important. That's good. But... Oh. Okay. So actually, let's let's start with this. Anything with this is physically painful. I don't really fully understand how somebody can involuntarily be like that. Like if you're just like a semi-functioning normal human being, you're not telling me there's people out there that just like want like a screw. Or is that like me coming from like a biased female opinion? Because that's always possible. topics are hard i also have always thought about going on to like their fucking forms but i feel like if i went there i would have to fucking put a bullet through my computer to approach more and more male hatred against women is rising up you might call this a new phenomenon either the subjects are inaccessible or people are uncomfortable discussing them you're an ugly guy you better get a good job and make some money because nobody's gonna Alyssa on 4chan oh you know I won't even lie, like I have entered the 4chan space, and I can just fucking smell the sweat. I can just smell the fucking, like, piles and piles of- It makes me think of, like, you ever seen the, like, My Little Pody nut jar? Like, it's like he- they put, like, a My Little Pony figurine in a fucking glass jar and they fucking nut on it, like, every day. And, like, the jar kept filling up, and you could see the fucking nut, like, decompose the My Little Pony figurine and, like, fucking mold. Maybe it was just me. Maybe I shouldn't have been where I was. That's a good point. You know, I think I answered that question. Let's, I'm going to assume you haven't. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> The involuntary part is misleading, often because they are shitty human beings, and often because they have irreal- That's my thing. They're like, actually, I want some fucking- I want a girl who has big-ass fucking tits and a big-ass fucking ass, also no intestines, also super nice me, cooks clean, and works, because why would I have to do that? Super big hottie, also basically, um, I feel like it's just like- why don't they look like my anime waifus? I don't understand. She should love me even if I don't shower for a week, you know? Like, they're prime recruitment for religious and sociopolitical extremists. This is why these communities are on FBI watch. That's exactly why I'm like, I can't go there. Like, my fucking curiosity, like, it gets that spark when it's brought up, and I just, I don't know. Don't go. <laughs> don't go. <laughs> Get recruited. That's my only thing, and it... And it's like, I've seen people talk about it before, right? It's like, you know that, like, if I insult them, I'm gonna insult them on the basis of what I feel like they think. So it's like, they have these ideas of, I feel like, generic gender roles underlying with, like, religious, like, bullshit and bias. Male supremacy hate group. Yes, that's a good label, I would say. But it's like, you wouldn't even function well, like, in older times, you know? It's like, you're not fucking over six foot, you don't fucking work out well, you don't have a good fucking job, you're not fucking educated, it's like, you don't shower, you eat like shit, and you live with your mom. If you don't, if you can't get desirable women, there's a good chance it's because you're presenting yourself as an undesirable. It's like always being like, why is it people that are totally out of my league and I'm always into people out of my league don't want me if I, like, bro, maybe try female dating strategy. Basically females doing terrible advice and living in their echo chamber. Oh, no. I seen this really dumb girl on TikTok that just sounded exactly like that. It was essentially her talking about how, like, what do men have to offer women who make money 
And I was like, I don't think you understand what a relationship is. And you're going to be very sad. It's like the saying, like, some people are so poor, all they have is money. Never heard about the 60s. <laughs> are we talking about just, like, 1960? Bruh, I just... No, I, her whole conversation was like, what do they have to bring to the table? If they're not bringing a bunch of, if they if they can't make the money, then like, where, why aren't they cooking for me? Why aren't they cleaning for me? What do men have to bring to the table if I'm making the money and I'm independent? It's like, you, you're not, um, money doesn't give you a free pass to be a terrible fucking person, you know? Like, if that's all you're looking for, get a gold digger, dude. Like, make enough money so you can just pay for somebody to cook for you and pay somebody to clean for you that if you make so much fucking money. People don't understand, I guess, what a relationship is, is what's becoming very apparent. And it's like, so, even as a female, you made a little bit of money and now you have a massive fucking ego. That's gonna be really hard to get out of you. Sorry. So no, you're right. It's just coming full fucking circle. And it's just a big fucking circle jerk. Echo chamber is a perfect description of it. It just... Worrisome. All right. Incels are labeled as... Okay, cool. But I'm not calling anyone that. This is a self-proclaimed term. Girls, I will destroy you. You don't deserve to get laid at all! So we found those subjects in person. <laughs> and rented a space in Hollywood and invited uh. their audience and any strangers walking by to come inside and ask them anything. I'm hyped. Okay. Uh, hey, I'm uh, Brendio. I also go by Derek. Okay. I, uh, I'm an incel and that I'm sucks. here to uh, answer people's questions about the topic. Unless you like being that way, it's cool. You know, whatever. Oh, but then it would be involuntary. Six foot, six inches, six figure, six packs, six out of ten. <laughs> oh, the, the holy trinity, yes. Bro, that man, because he ain't got a... <laughs> oh, that's a good fucking rule of thumb. Like, obviously, it's the most fucking ridiculous thing ever, right? But, like, their ideas of perpetuating that bullshit to females is, like, shouldn't they then also have to upload the, like, bullshit standards for men? You know? Like, it goes both ways, dude. If you want this fucking unrealistic standard, shouldn't you be that unrealistic standard? Because if you can't be, then, like, who the fuck are you? It's like, I feel like you just, like, conundrum. Oh my gosh, but the 666 rule. <laughs> oh, why have I never heard of that? That's so good. That's so fucking good. <laughs> oh no. I can start. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Okay. So you're an incel. Right. Yes. Why would you ever sign up to do this? That is such a good question. Why? Why would you do this to yourself? Like, look at this guy. He's not a horrible looking guy, you know? Like, he, if he took care of himself, you know, he'd be fine. And honestly, it's like, if people don't want you, just wait. It's not that big of a deal, dude. It's really not that big of a deal. I... Also, to give you more context. So this guy, after this video, right? He got a girlfriend. It was like a long distance relationship. We won't even, I'm not even gonna talk about him having a long distance girlfriend. That's whatever. But literally after they broke up, he posted, like, all of her nudes on the internet. Like, he essentially then posted revenge porn of her right after they broke up. And I was like, you're a terrible fucking human being. No wonder why people don't like you. Like... I'm gonna say alleged because I don't have like an actual like I have not seen the fucking documentation in person. But let's just say that story's been going around. So disclaimer, it I'm pretty sure it's true, but I don't have the article on me right now. Could Google it, but you know. I hopped onto Minecraft on my favorite world. Nomadic traveler literally just can't build a house or live. Oh really? Man, servers really do begin ridiculous though. I suppose I would want to give more of a positive. 
He is human garbage. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna say disclaimer, I don't know 100% facts because it's not like I fucking know the guy and seen him do it. But with that information in mind, like... ...lights on this community, which is a very negative light upon it. Okay. And do you think that's a good thing? Yes. Why is that? Hold on. Why would you do this? I suppose I would want to give more of a positive light on this community, which is a very negative light upon it. How would you give a positive light on this, though, you know? I'm sorry if my frames occasionally drop. I don't know what the fuck they're doing upstairs, but hopefully this shit stays live. Just, just my disclaimer. Okay. And do you think that's a good thing? Yes. Why is that? Because a lot of the boys in this community aren't bad people. But you acknowledge that a good um, handful of them are, right. right? Not a good handful, I'd say a small handful. Hmm. Who hurt you or what <laughs> happened? What event sort of catalyzed this way of thinking and you get it? Who hurt you? <laughs> Who hurt you, dude? Getting into this kind of research. Uh, society? <laughs> um, do you hate women? No. 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 Did she? Did he say research? Hold on. Uh, society. <laughs> uh, we live in a society. Um. Okay, mm that's not women? a good one. No. 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 Do you have a female role model in your life? <sighs> Come on. Come on. Female role model. Yeah, like. Um. A mom or an aunt or a friend. I mean, I love my mom. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily consider her a role model, but I do love her quite a bit. Okay. If a woman was elected as president of the United States, how would you react? <laughs> um, I don't. He would laugh. All right. He gave his reaction. All right. So far, not painting a good picture. All right. You no, know, it probably would depend on the on the woman. I I, I probably I probably wouldn't be supportive of it, honestly, but. Why? <laughs> Why do you say that if you don't mind yeah, asking? Yeah, right. I do think that, you know, men should be the leaders and women should be the caregivers and the, and the you know, the loving, supporting, and the, and the teachers in some cases. Uh, when I started this world, I started with an iron sword, pickaxe, and axe. 20 steak, a shulker, a bed, crafting table. I mean, that sounds like a really fucking good basis, though, Bacon. I will say that. Okay. Alrighty. My guy. Nobody probably heard him. He feels entitled to premium puss, and since he cannot land it by doing nothing, he has embraced hatred instead of getting quality of life or money that could help him achieve his goal. It's like, their ideas are just so fucking bizarre, too. I don't, like, what, I want to know, like, what his idea is of that premium pussy, you know what I'm saying? What is that? What is that? Because in this idea, it's like, what, is it some, like, fucking skinny bitch who doesn't talk back, look like she's barely 18 and can fucking cook food? Virgin? Like, as of right now, my steak is gone, my tools are nearly gone, and my inventory shulker box is nearly full. So you are... S you are... Ready for an uptick. You are r ready for a comeback, Bacon. Premium cooch is one that makes me happy. That's good. That's wholesome. <laughs> That's wholesome, I guess. Okay, so let me go back on him just so I can. In the, in the, I do think that you know men should be the leaders and. Right. So his thing is men should be the leaders. So I'm assuming he is a great conversationalist. He's educated. He lives on his own. He has a decent paying job, and he is just fucking like what and probably STEM or something because that's usually the way to go. Women should be the caregivers and the, and the you know, the loving. The p p p p p p the p p p p p providers? How so? How so? Why should they? Why should they care? Hmm? Why should women be caregivers? I want to know where in my fucking skull I was supposed to be nice to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Empathy? Maybe. Being supporting and the, and the teachers. So in some cases. Teachers, educators, so they should have the knowledge. Well, if they're so smart to be teachers, you would think that they would probably be good leaders, since you would need somebody who can educate others to educate their fucking subordinates and thus lead well, right? Doesn't make sense. You mean you? You mean men should be able to be good at turning off brain, get paycheck, go in chair, watch TV? 
What does that do for you? That's not so fucking boring. Since women of color or just women in general have been oppressed by certain systems and other oppressed communities. Oh, he hates that question. What, you don't like the idea of oppression, Derek? Hmm? As a white cis het man. Oh. Cry. This is what zero pussy does to a motherfucker. They're the evolutionary opposite of what too much pussy does to someone. I doubt he has the head or provider. Exactly. Some of them probably won't even achieve a position of role. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, obviously his, like, optimized idea of what fucking relationships and genders and shit should be is ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. Nobody wants to be in a fucking box, right? I'm sure we have have enough fucking, like, intelligence now to realize that. But the box he wants to put himself into, he can't even fucking fulfill. Bro, he hasn't gotten his, his diagnosed three times a year cooch. No, though. It's like... His idea basically is that, like, people owe him sex, right? Women owe him sex. Particularly women he himself finds optimally attractive owe him sex. Like, I'll be fucking honest, like, he doesn't- I don't even know if he looks like the fucking cleanest, to be fair. I don't know. My thing is, it's like, he has the fucking potential, dude. Like, he has potential. He doesn't seem like he has any outward fucking debilitative Ill illnesses, other than, I guess, being fucking easily manipulated by people who want to approach him and be like, Hey, you could be more of a victim if you take on our fucking ideology. Like- to him, oppression is not being able to get a big titty goth GF that acts as his mom and fucks him while he's playing, paying, fucks him while paying. But that's my thing, dude. Exactly. It's like you want them to do all of it. There's a certain level, right? There's a certain level where, like, if it works, fine. But nobody's gonna fucking sign up for that. Like, you want some fucking hottie that's also like a business lady, but as a return, you make her life easier than whatever. What fucking works for you? But like. I'm celibate because I'm just gonna keep my standards high so I can keep having my fucked up ideology. Like, but bruh, come on now, come on. Did I mention I have a pet parrot on this nomadic traveler world? You didn't, what color is it? <laughs> I hope it's blue. I like the blue parrots the most. Me getting also slightly. Okay, let's backtrack a little. I need to make sure mm -hmm. I don't miss women anything. Of color or just women okay. in general we're talking about oppression. By certain systems and he and looks- other he looks apprehensive. Communities, right. Especially the LGBTQ+, all those, totally. those mm -hmm. are, don't really fit with the spectrum that incels or you have been talking about. Right, because women should be women, but I, what if I also like women? About. So why do you think your method Cause I do. of thought would help fix what we uh, have today? Right. I probably wouldn't view the things that you might view as oppression as oppression. Uh. <laughs> Fuck, okay. I have a feeling. Ooh. Um, Ooh, me too. As... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah? You want to talk about your oppression, Derek? Come on. All right, go. Uh, how we treat children that we love. Gray and yellow? That's a pretty good combo, too. I'm here for it. I like it. Okay. That sounds pretty cute. I need to take a step back, too, because I agree with her. My face is, where did we go? How does your ideals, okay, how do your ideals, like, fit into, like, you know, I'm gonna let her speak. She's fucking better than me. Would help fix what we have today. Right. How would that fix any of our fucking social issues at all? Besides you narrow-mindedly only thinking about getting your dick wet. Outsells shouldn't talk about children. Exactly. I probably wouldn't view why are you even you're obviously not like are you a good role model because if you don't have any role models i can't imagine you're probably that great of one anyway they're not sex ain't ever making a big <laughs> maybe someday if they change their ways you might view as oppression as oppression i have a Oof. feeling um mm -hmm. yeah. i would view it more as uh how we treat children that we love What? 
Can you explain that to me just a little bit? Because I'm not understanding what's happening. You know what I'm... I... He's about to mansplain patriarchy. I, I really, really didn't want him to do that. I really... Oppression is how we treat children. Oh, that's so weird. I don't see children anywhere in here. That's so weird. Huh, that's that's so weird. That's so odd. It's like it's like I don't see I don't it's like I don't see what he's saying anywhere. That's so that's so weird to me. Huh. Huh. That's so strange. Interesting. That's so interesting. Interesting. I don't I don't see children. I don't see children. Hmm. Weird infantilism of women pretty big yikes for real you know to be parents and i doubt they would be willing to pay child for real for real like uh uh you're not being oppressed those are making tough decisions for you that you're not capable of it's common in the religion dude uh then he got an int onto an internet show exactly bacon hell yeah uh he wants to oppress and, and grape women because otherwise none would be dude Pretty much, that's pretty much it. It's like... We, we control them, but we control them lovingly, not as a slave. I need that one more time. I'm so sorry. Hold on. We, okay, it's how we treat children. We have to treat them lovingly, not like a slave, okay? feeling um i would view it more as uh how we treat children that we love we we control them but we control them lovingly not as a slave not as we control them okay forcing them to do things against their will i would view it more as a a loving domestic thing in the past and i would say that if we were to do it in a civilized way maybe in a more even a christian way even though i'm not really advocating for a certain where did I go? Where the fuck did we go? Did I not me hear the question? How the fuck does your shitty ideology address major concerns like fucking oppression against groups? Thank the gods I have <laughs> enough check for this insanity. Where the fuck did we go? Where the fuck did we go, dude? Hold on, I can't, I have him keep saying it because I feel like I'm missing something because I don't know where he went. A loving domestic thing in the past. And I would say that if we were to do it in a civilized way, maybe in a more, even a Christian. Because then I would also say, mansplained all the way to his religion. Christian, old, so older, olden times, way back in the day bullshit is more civilized than where we are today. Way, even though I'm not really advocating Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. Maybe I need liquor for this. Maybe we should just... Maybe I should have liquor for this. I need some fucking Everclear or something. Because maybe that would make this shit a little clearer to me. Dude. Can't answer his answers are weird feelings and self-delusions. You know, it's like logical expert. Oh... Can I get, like, a follow-up where he's, like, listening to himself? Like, do you think if he heard this back, he would be like, uh-huh, yeah. I really fucking hit this question. Like, I fucking nailed this question, dude. I fucking got this one. That's it. I totally answered that shit so good. Like. For a certain religion or ideology. Um, I would assume that women. You don't want to identify as being Christian. Just do it. Why? You might as well. You know where your shit's rooted in. You would probably be happier. And I would what else would give you a reason for having such fucking rigid perceptions on fucking gender norms, right? 
couldn't just assume. You know what? Actually, can I Google? I'm going to Google what conservative means just so that way I don't sound stupid if I use that term. Because I try to separate conservative versus Republican. Averse to change or innovation and holding traditional values. Okay. Versus a Republican, which is more of like their strict political interpretations, right? Right? Opposed to socialism and socialism, right? -wing party. Okay, right wing party include conservatives, Christian Democrats, classical liberals, and nationalists as well as. Okay, I'll be doing some deep diving on that later. But for now, let's just say, let's let them let's that, let them go off. I would assume that based on the data that I've seen. What, what data? data have you seen? That Ooh, what data? What is it? Because I'm now curious where. Yeah, I kind of am curious too. Um, I couldn't reference it offhand, but I believe there was a study that, that um, I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. The study. From. Hold on. Data have you seen? I wouldn't just assume. Um, Jinwei, even though I'm not really advocating for a certain religion or ideology, um, I would assume that women would probably be happier. And I wouldn't just assume. I would assume women would be Assume. Women would be happier. Are women happier in conservative environments? Conservatives are happier than liberals. No, I don't want to go in general. I want to say are women happier? Are women, are conservative women happier? Are Conservative women happier. I'm just curious at this point. I just am curious now. Okay. Let's 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 look on this a little bit. He can't answer because of, yeah, yeah. He's trying to justify hatred and oppression with religion alone. Biblical forefathers were murderers and rape Exactly, but at least they didn't sit on a time and cried like, dude, yeah. Maybe the reason why conservative women say they're happy is because they say anything else, they can get a fucking lobotomy, bro. Oh, yeah, uh, my wife doesn't fuck me enough. Uh, hey, Doc, can you give that hoe a fucking lobotomy? Thanks, dude. Thanks. I live to protect Petey the parrot. <laughs> I love that wholesome moment. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, they're happy because if you don't fucking say you're happy, then I will beat the fuck out of you. Thank you. It's like... Like, it's the same people where the women are like, no, marital rape isn't a thing. You cannot be assaulted if you're married. Duh, you just have to take it. Yeah, I'm sure you're so fucking happy. Women are oppressed in conservative environments. They're basically unaware of their misery. There is a reason why public conservative women marry. Yeah, yeah. They don't want the classic. Right, right. Yeah. Like, I just... I just, I'm curious and I want to get the... Here we go. I'm just gonna... Okay. Twitter. Oh no. Conservative women are particularly blissful. 40% say they are very happy. That makes them slightly happier than conservative men and significantly happier than liberal women. The unhappiness, the unhappiest are liberal men. Only a fifth of themselves consider themselves happy. But I feel like they are not considering. Ugh, you, oh no, we're on fucking toxic. T t fuck this, dude. I am not going in the comments. Uh-uh. I'm gonna see some fuck shit if I do that. Uh-uh. Public conservatives are also faked conservatives. Can't make bread without me. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Dude. There's, there's so much more. To, I want to know the study, actually. The surveys have proved accurate. But how accurate can they really be? Because I want to know what they included for the outliers and, like, the... Fuck, what's the term? The... Dependent variables. The dependent variables that fucking affect it. Conservative women are happy. The beatings will continue because uh, they've proven successful. <laughs> Jesus, that gets dark. Right, yeah. Secret to happiness? Be a conservative woman. I wanna- I wish I could find the study, though. I- 
Let me find it. It might be up here, actually. Political junkies might be interested to learn that... Okay. A formula for happiness. Oh my god, get this shit out of my face, bro. No commitment, cancel any time. Suck my dick, dude. I'm trying to get information. I want to know, like, more about the study. I want to know the variables that they considered, like what impacts, like what other things, because there's going to be a lot that impact it, like their awareness on politics, their opinions on certain things. Like you could certainly have a really good study with this, but like, ugh. anyway, I got here late and what study? Big hat. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Conservative women complain about misogyny and racism from conservative men, not from women. Right, right. That's true. Um, we're talking about the study that's comparing, I guess, conservative versus, I guess, not conservative women and how the women would be more happy. Predicted percentage of wife scoring above average on relationship quality index. Highly religious, gender progressive, highly religious. I don't know what I'm looking at. Secular, shared gender, progressive, secular, shared gender. Less mixed religious, less mixed. Secular wives to compare to highly religious gender, traditional. Is progressive mean gay? Or am I confused? There is the rather famous book, Why Women Have Better Sex Under Socialism. I guess, what, really? Predict percentage of wives who are very happy in their marriages. I don't, I've never heard, they lie, dude. I know for a fact they fucking lie. That or they just always had bad relationships. I don't think I've ever met a religious fucking couple that actually is happy. They're like the same people where it's like, your, your wife can't be your best friend. It's like you really don't fucking play video games and also have bubble baths with your significant other. Like, you're sad. You're sad. I don't know what to say. Studies inexistent. They reference each other's bullshit in the circle jokes. You won't find a scientific unbiased. See, that's what I'm trying to say. I wanted to dive more, like, deep into it. I almost wanted to get something from, like, here we go. I wanted something kind of like this. Conservatives more than liberals possess an ideological buffer against the negative hedonic. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, you guys, why you got a hammer? It's almost seven o'clock. Sorry. In this research, we drew on system justification theory and the notion that conservative ideology is a palliative function to explain why conservatives are happier than liberals. Okay, now this is something that I might read. This is something that I would probably dive more into. Okay, okay. We found that right-wing orientation is associated with greater subjective well-being and that the relation between political orientation and subjective well-being is mediated by the rationalization of inequality. Who's fucking in the room above you? Dude, I wish it was just people fucking. They're doing construction, right? I thought they would have stopped by now. It's like seven my time, you know? It's like seven on a Friday night, bro. Like, come on. It's gone. I mean, they'll probably stop when it's dark, but, you know. It, it's whatever. I get it. Uh, there was always a crazy in religious couples, regardless of the dominant and submissive dynamic. See, now this is more interesting to me. Between the political orange and sexual abuse media by the rationalization of inequality. They're just fucking, yeah, yeah. Although that is more politically charged. I have to dive more into it. In our third study, we found that increasing economic inequality from these two has exacerbated the happiness gap between liberals and conservatives, apparently because conservatives more than liberals possess an ideological buffer against the negative hedonic, hedonic effects of economic inequality. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I was thinking. Ideology and social cognition. Are liberals and conservatives differently, differentially affected by social cues and group inequality? Fucking of course. The secret to conservative happiness is gaslighting? That's the energy I'm getting. They're just fucking dunces, I guess, is what I'm hearing. It's like, there's so there's way more to it. Because that's what I'm looking at. I'm like, I want to know more with some of this. And I like this website. I like these. And I like, like, med government shit. It's usually why when I look up articles... Here, I'll show you. 
whenever I look up stuff for my papers, I just throw like NCBI after it because this usually has good shit for me. Conservatives report greater meaning in life than liberals. Well, yeah, because you literally have it all based off of breeding, right? Isn't your point to breed, pay taxes, uh, make fun of your fucking marriage, and, like, I don't know, do family reunions every 10 years? Fucking rent a nice car when you have a high school reunion? Like, fucking boring, dude. Anyway. There's some studies or follow religious scripter that'll just tell you what your apparent point is. Maybe it's just a cop out. Sometimes I feel like religion's just a cop out. It's like, just tell me you're scared. You're just scared. You're scared. You're scared. No one can live according to religious scripture. It's like, I mean, if it, if religion makes somebody happy, I don't care. It's their fucking life. Just don't ever use religion to ever fucking support science to me or logic because it's not connected. And don't ever use religion as a reason to, I feel, support any, like, political shit. It's just, like, I imagine, like, what would life be if they didn't have an old-ass book to give them their moral compass? Like, I couldn't imagine having a bunch of old-ass fucking dudes have to solely explain to me what morality is. And then the only way for me to even want to follow any sort of morality is I have to have this horrible fucking excuse like going to hell as my reason to, to keep being a moral person. But can you just be a good person to be a good person? Can you just be a human and respect that other humans have other interests than you and just be like, you fucking rock that dude. Like, it's not like a, uh, I guess I won't, I won't fucking shoot up a whole building because what will God think, you know? What will he think of that? It's like, no wonder why they had a right in there in the fine print. Like, also, if you unalive yourself, you're going to go to hell. So you can't do that either. You have to accept the life that you were given. Sorry. We need you to pay them taxes, homie. Like. Always cherry picking and copium smoking. Morality began when the first... Monkey didn't bash the skull of an annoying neighborhood for simply existing. <laughs> like, I just... It's like one of those things where I'm like, so your parents just don't know, like, what's a decent thing to do? Like, I don't think it takes a fucking religion for, like, somebody to be like, hey, um, don't beat the shit out of someone just because you disagree with them. That's not a mature thing or a right thing to do, you know? It's not worth that. It's like... How hard? How hard, you know? Literally, fuck that. It's gonna done more harm than good. Like, there are plenty of people that I'm sure are super nice and kind, and, like, that's just, like, what makes sense to them. Like, my mom's not super religious, but it helps her to have an idea that there might be something after life, right? She also is totally fine with everybody else living their life, and is fine with that. It just is, like, in her head that makes sense and that makes her happy. She still doesn't give a fuck what anyone else does, though. And that's what it's supposed to be. Like, if it makes you an actually better person, then more power to you, dude. If it makes you happy, more power to you. First and foremost. But, like... Please, God, by Mickey Mouse, if it sounds like insanity, then it's probably insanity. Like, I don't get it. I wasn't raised in it. But then there's probably other things that I'm sure people might think my beliefs are odd, so fair enough. In a world when you would annihilate your neighboring tribe, a book that told you to spare the woman was moral. Right, it's like, I just, yeah, keep the woman for, yeah, the child for, yeah, exactly. Labor, war, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. If you're gonna grape someone, at least make sure you pay the family. Come on. Like, <laughs> like. I don't know. I think at its basis, it had a good intent. I think at its basis, the stories were supposed to explain things that we have science for now. And I think it makes some people feel a little less fucking existentially paranoid. And or it lets them just turn their brain off so they don't have to think about things like that. And they can just kind of live in this like bliss and anonymity. But even I know... 
that like if people want to be blissful then they can do that and if people don't want to be blissful then they, they just don't have to do that and i don't get fucking insane ass extremist religious people or people who are like but how can you not believe in a guy in the sky it's like it sounds so weird to me i think it started as hear these words for a better life then became Hear these words are burned. Yes. I think at its core, I think it was a great way to bring people together. It was probably a good way to, I don't know, maybe have people fucking I don't, have shit to do on Sunday. Like, maybe there was, there was some decent basis, I guess. But it fucking, I think, just devolved completely. Also... Shit changes, dude. You know? I mean, hell, when did the Bible come out? I don't even remember when I... Me when I'm like, man, you remember back then when it got released? Bible release date. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, call me a little crazy. I think we've changed a bit since 1400 BC. I don't know about you guys... But I think it's a little different now. Like, I don't think I can sink in snow now in Minecraft. I already sink in snow enough. IRL. Interesting. I'm surprised you can't. Weird. Like, evolve. Don't believe in evolution. Fuck the creationists. <laughs> oh, I just. You're right. You're right. How dare I? How dare I say such a thing? <laughs> uh was a time traveler who was trying to warn of an alien invasion but then the assholes turned his message into a church for power and control prince of darkness one of my favorite movies Ooh, i'll have to watch that see that's a good ass interpretation like y'all went fucking crazy with what i said all right i was just trying to warn you i went a little far back and uh there you go assume that blindly i would assume that based on the data that dude I, I see this really interesting thing on the discovery channel where they thought that aliens had sex with monkeys and that's what created humans and that's why some of us have like really weird dna and they can't identify where the dna is from because some of us have alien blood in them because the aliens made that sweet sweet love with the monkeys and cavemen in an attempt to create a cat casual casuality loop Causality loop. There we go. What data have you? Your god, uranium cannot save you. Chills. Ooh, it was an asexual cult leader, so it didn't want the usual cult way, and it blew out of proportion. <laughs> oh no. He's like, I didn't want all this, dude. I didn't want all this. What is he saying now? Let's get back to it. I wouldn't just assume that blindly. I would okay. assume that based on the data that I have seen. What data have you seen that has brought you? Excuse me. All right. I will give him credit. You, There is fucking a pay. I'm sure. So he's probably read it somewhere. I will say that. that it exists, but it's certainly not. It's like looking at it from a biased approach, but it exists, I guess. I to this conclusion because well, fair I'm enough, curious bro. Where I can get this but I don't from. believe you. Um, I couldn't reference it offhand, but I believe there was a study. But dude, Jubilee did on bold. Don't they usually like input little like edits and shit? They didn't. They did on bold. They didn't even look. That, that um, I I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Okay, what do you think it is about liberal areas that create behavior in women that you think is a problem? She seems nice. She looks like she reads books. Don't agree with a single word from his treacherous lips. <laughs> I'm just say I'm just gonna say that there is a data. It's just bullshit. It's just a bullshit data. Is there a study? Yeah, I guess technically. I'm sure there's probably a lot of studies. Like, um, um, are couples who have sex with their farm animals happier than couples who don't? Like, I'm sure there's a fucking study for it, but that doesn't mean it's a fucking good study, you know what I mean? Huh. Promiscuity leads to- Hold on. What do you think it is about liberal areas? Hold on. Promiscuity? Fuck, yes. dude. That create behavior in women that you think is a problem. So they- 
the problem with women is they get to fuck. <laughs> the problem with women is they get to have sex, and I don't. Promiscuity leads Ooh, okay. to okay. increased mm -hmm. standards mm -hmm. in more primitive aspects, such as looks. Wait, you mean women like to fuck hot people? What? That's so primitive. What? Women care about looks? What? Uh, how could that ever happen? They have to make sense once in a while for people to not consider them as batshit crazy and then weave it in with subtle insanity until they can openly spew out more. Oh, yeah, outlandish madness? Completely. Completely. I feel like that's how they roped him in. I think it's a problem. Okay. Promiscuity leads to increased standards. I would also say in liberal areas, and he went full to like women fuck in more primitive aspects such as looks um and how is being into looks primitive i mean i guess but it's like don't you want to be more civilized so so then you shouldn't care about how a girl looks right in which case how are you fucking not able to get some fucking poon if you don't care what Humans like that. Fuck. What? Insane. Wait, it's primitive that I care about how attractive my part. I fucking guess. I guess I have to dump my boyfriend now. Guess I find him pretty on a uh, pretty attractive. Oh no. Like I think we might be getting onto sexuality a bit. Some people can literally look at somebody and like they're so fucking hot. I want to get dick down now, dude. And then some people work where it's like I find people more hot when I like their personality. But either way, he's like. Women shouldn't have to, women shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to be hot to have sex with a girl. Come on. It's so primitive now. We've evolved enough where you want to fuck me. Yes. But also gender roles. Also gender roles though. I give her props for not having a full body reverse <laughs> orgasm. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, and that typically <laughs> makes it harder for some people to find a relationship. Including you. Sometimes good looking people. Like there's guys... So if you're good looking, why would it be? But I thought you just said that women like to have sex with hot ass dudes. And so why would a good looking dude have any hard time getting laid? Hello, Chads, bro? Who are much better looking than I am, who are having a really hard time finding someone. I got an idea. It's probably because they got the fucking personality of a shit stain. That's probably why. They probably are like, oh, he's good looking. I'll talk to him. And they go on a fucking date. And then he probably tries to, like, fucking sniff her seat after she gets up. Like, dude. Yeah, like, what? what's his point? I'm ugly. Why don't people want to fuck me? What the hell? Like El me playing a video game and every NPC rejects me? God, you don't have to think I'm hot. Just accept, just want to sleep with me because I had it as a fucking sentence choice. Play or in London or in... Good looking people. Like, there's guys who are much better looking than I am who are having a really hard time finding someone in a place like LA or in London or in Auckland, New Zealand. But they probably would. Why did he drop those names like that? The hottest men women I've ever dated with have been the most sh shit stainy. Oh no, bacon. See, those are the type of people where it's like. I feel like it's like, a, yeah, we can sleep together uh that's it i don't know i got this thing where it's like i get to know people and when i know people have bad personalities they just get ugly right it's like the same thing where usually like somebody who doesn't even like that conventionally attractive if i click with them i'm like damn you're so fucking hot dude hell yeah but I'm a big personality person. I forget what that means, but, like, I'm not, like, somebody that can look at someone and then I'm like, yeah, I'd fuck them. I'm usually like, uh, yeah, yeah they're, a good, they're an attractive human. When I sleep with them, eh, uh, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'll get to know you first. But also, if I get to know you, uh, then you're probably gonna be a hottie hottie. So, good for me, honestly. Good for me. It's like shallow hell. <laughs> That's exactly how my brain works. Anyway, uh, women primitive, hard for men to have sex because women want hotties too. And 
And women having a choice now makes it hard for me. That's what he's saying. Someone in a place like LA or in London. LA, London, Auckland, New Zealand. Or in Auckland, New Zealand. But they probably would have a perfectly fine time finding a, a woman somewhere else. So Oh, so you're saying like you might not be a con like attractive in your country, but you might be kind of attractive in another country because you'd be more exotic and hot? Sure. Very hot people have choices unless they experienced a mature emotional relationship with bringing out their hotness, they develop the worst personalities ever. As long as they're hot, most people put up with their shit. Once they lose attractiveness, they go bad shit. Seriously, seriously. Do you think that promiscuity is the problem and if people were more monogamous i think my reason why i'm so flexible with people i don't feel like i've ever had a type i don't know i don't have not i'm not really i don't really like have that colorful of a dating history so huh my life experiences are weird we'll preface that we'll just preface it as such I might dive into it later as the time comes up, but basically, I don't know. I think I just don't get his issue, because I don't think I've ever had somebody turn me down. Because I'm really good at gauging if someone likes me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm really good at gauging if somebody likes me, so I've never had somebody say no. But that's because, I don't know. I am a psych major. <laughs> but it's not hard. Be nice to somebody. Like if a girl says she likes a TV show, watch the TV show. Like you've noticed they did something different. You can say like, oh, hey, that's cool. I like that. What things are you interested in? Oh, you like that movie? And then you watch that movie and you say, hey, I watched that movie. Here are my thoughts on it. And then you talk about shit that you like. And then if they reciprocate and they start watching shit and doing shit that you like, they probably like you. Not hard. Not hard. Like, you must be assigned a breeding pet. That's what I've heard multiple. Oh, God. Oh. Ooh. They already disappointed their mothers and they want to disappoint more women. <laughs> like, it's not hard. Best dating advice. Get to know them. Figure out what they like to do. Um, cause like, like what music do they like? Cause if you end up being like, I like fucking heavy metal and they do nothing but listen to fucking Bruce Springsteen and you can't stand that shit. Maybe it's not meant to be. I don't know what to say. Or learn to like it. I don't know. They play ga video games, play the video games that they like. Find the shit that they like. I once liked a girl who was like, I like Supernatural. Let's go with my fucking ex right she likes supernatural and i'm like well i like this chick so you know what i did my fucking hopeless romantic ass watched like eight seasons of supernatural so i could know what the hell she was talking about that was so much time but i did it because i liked her she was like wow you really watched all of that and i'm like fuck yes i watched that now i can talk to you about it dude and then we dated for like four years. You just gotta show people you care. That's it. That's it. Sex with women isn't living up to the hype. No offense, ladies. <laughs> you know, I feel like that depends on the human. I feel like that depends on the human being. But you know what? I can't... I can't disagree with you, Dance, only because like... You know what, actually, I'm gonna say, I don't have a dick, so I don't know what it's like to, to have that good time. I don't know. I don't know. I've always thought it was cool because chicks can just, like, fucking interchange it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, do I want, like, a curved dick? Do I want a big dick? Do I want a glitter dick? But you gotta know how to use the dick. <laughs> Hardcore for me, I didn't bang women until college. <laughs> uh what the fuck you know i haven't dated that many people but i'm pretty sure every person i've dated i have had a threesome with i don't know if that's too much tmi but fuck it we're here whatever right whatever we're homies we're dogs i've also had my first threesome while i was in high school 
So, I don't know. I think it just depends on the vibe you're going for. I don't know. I gotta do more fucking leg exercise. Then I probably gonna do that gnarly thrust, bro. Yeah, I I'm weird. That's my confession for everybody. I don't think I've ever dated somebody I haven't also had a threesome with them. Um, but I don't know what it's like to have a dick and also get screwed with a by another lad. So I can't relate on that one. But uh, I think it depends on the person and what you're looking for and how good they are for the screw. Well, whatever. Where did we go? Where did I go? This monster's fucking me up. <laughs> monster's fucking me up. <laughs> Okay, where are we at? So you think that promiscuity is the problem, and if people are more monogamous and more um, withholding, that would sort of fix society? You're just saying that because women can have options, I can't find one to date me. I feel like at that point, though, you might have a higher chance, because if all women had to be locked in with one dude, how likely would it be him? Yeah, I suppose the people were more traditionalists. There have been a few mass shootings in the past where mm. these shooters actually stated that they were incels or were radicalized by online incels. What do you think about their actions? I'm curious, I too. I condemn their actions. I don't believe in... She has beautiful skin. I wish my skin was that smooth. I don't believe violence is the solution i don't believe attacking random people is going to fix anything whether they're you know women or men i do think that the reason why they committed those actions was probably because of out of desperation or, or out of you know mental problems that probably could have been prevented confession i actually had sex with a chick that i mistook for a dude it wasn't a good time what you didn't think that the you didn't think that the, the like change in events was sick i would say that was just a sick ass plot twist you're like, all right, I'm here for the plot twist. All right, season two finale? Okay. All right. <laughs> like, uh. It had the... Yeah, I do wonder what his thoughts are going to be for uh, the shootings, though. Because mm, that's true. The right support was in there. In their community in their household if they if, you know if people you know saw what they were posting and saw what they were experiencing in life and did something to help them was there like a so they need more support mm. it was like super had that deep sultry voice the package wasn't what i expected i performed but my disappointment was immeasurable I'm so sorry. Oh no. Oh no. I'm impressed that the voice could pass. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I have a vision in my head, but it's probably completely wrong. But, uh. Interesting. <laughs> oh. It's okay, she's gay now. <laughs> uh, just had to try it out and was like, nah, the rod's not for me. A moment in your life? Oh my like God. a straw that broke. I was gonna say I'm surprised, but I mean, I guess like you could be a, you can be a, like a mask by so. A metaphorical okay. camel's back. You know, it's constant years of rejection, no matter who the person was, constant years of rejection in other aspects of my life. Ooh. Bro, I specifically remember this one girl that I knew, who was the first person I, like, nearly fell in love with instantly, also the only person who I regret never asking out. They're somewhere out there while I'm begging to meet them again one day. Like, just meet the person who checks every box off and you have them some bonus ones you know you had, and then they get those fucking multipliers. They're my best friends for nearly 10 years. Why did you never ask them out? Is it kind of like you just found the friendship to be more valuable than that? 
I'm always a big person where, like, I just go for it. I just go for it. I also test the waters a lot, though. Like, I... Like, my first girlfriend that I had, I really tested the water. And it's, like, weird, right? Because, like, when you're both girls, you can have, like, sleepovers and shit. And, like, I tested the waters. And I was, like, I'm pretty sure she's straight. So, like, this is getting a little, mm, this is getting a little hard for me. Because it's, like, I don't know, but I'm really into her. And I'm not sure. Because I was scared of being rejected? No, there's always one who got away because life happens. Better to remember them as idealized rather than to ruin the whole. I mean, aren't you still best friends then? Like, they're still there. Legit. She was like the person who I shared a kiss with and I actually liked it. <laughs> oh, I, the kisses are and you don't like it? Oh, no. Yeah, no, I've never... I don't have anyone like that. I don't have, like, the one who got away, per se. But that's just because I just go for everything. And or, like, if I'm with somebody, then I don't have, like, really those, like, other teasing outlines. No, she moved, unfortunately, like, to a whole different country. I mean, can't she still chit-chat? Or was it kind of just, like, a one-and-done sort of thing? Kind of a bummer. But I also feel like your paths will probably ca cross again if it's meant to be. Right? In a In a really optimistic sort of way, right? But yeah, no, I remember on our sleepover when I cemented and I was like, oh, no, I think she likes me back. because She was totally straight before me, but I just have such a fucking fire ass personality, I guess. I can just I can just get people to like me. I don't <laughs> No, I don't know. But I see on her phone. It was like, uh, am I gay? Uh, what's it mean if I'm actually in love with my best friend? And I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's me. She's totally having those feelings. Interesting. And that was pretty sick. Honestly, probably my hardest one to do. It's like, how do you work with that, you know? When it's like they're straight. And it's like, I don't know what to do. That sucks. I don't know what to do with that. It did kind of push me towards more. Anyway, bad life experiences. He got rejected. Probably because you don't get to know somebody. How can you get rejected a shit ton? Get to know people better. They'll probably like you more. I wonder what he smells like. You can tell a lot about somebody how they smell. <laughs> Joe Biden be like. <laughs> it was kind of the thing where we just got too busy and then sadly it slowly drifted apart. Um, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. All of my friends left and didn't want to talk to me anymore after they found out that I was the hella gay in high school. And then my friends became all the computer geeks. And that was pretty cool. I don't know, I never asked her out, even though we kissed. That probably should have been the dead giveaway. Yeah, I gotta say, I'd be kind of into somebody if I was gonna kiss them. Unless I discreetly, like, identified first, like, hey, um, don't catch feelings. We're just gonna smooch and that's it. Like, you know, let's go to a concert and... Le Is it Leon or Lion? Please correct me, because I'm... My brain's saying Leon. Best evening ever spontaneously jumped into a car with her to watch a concert in Berlin the following day. Ooh, great weekend, banging and partying, stayed in touch, but she moved to Prague because her mom got cancer. Oh, no. That sounds like a good time. That sounds... That'd be, that'd be kind of a bummer. That sounds like a big bummer. Are you still in touch or after that kind of just was a fady thing, too? It sounds sick, though. That's, that's life. That's lively, dude. I only ever leave my house for squishmallows anymore. I suppose radical um, beliefs, but I, I do want to go to a concert sometime. That'd be I suppose nice. They're only like radical, but they're more just old beliefs, really. Uh, fix of my life. It did okay. kind of push me towards more. I so women rejected you. You probably didn't get a job or something. I don't know. Life was a little hard and you hit some challenges and you took that as full blown rejection and got pissed because how dare you have obstacles to overcome. Right, Derek? Oh my god, my favorite memory of her was that we one day had a movie night hanging out, and then I decided to see if I could rest my head in her lap. And bro, the snuggles! <laughs> it sounds like there was some- it's like one of those things where I feel like, you know, waiting for that something. Hello, playing with a friend, you'll be in the back. Well, I appreciate it. I absolutely appreciate it, Ella. Thank you, thank you.
Dang, Dan's doing crazy life shit, and I'm in a Taco Bell driveway, bro. No, that sounds nice, Bacon. I feel like you should have said something, dude. If we can have Snuggles, you get a times 200 multiplier? No, fucking seriously, though. That sounds like there probably was something there, and y'all were both too scared to say something. That is always why... That's always why if I got shit to say, then I say it. Sometimes you meet somebody who just makes doing crazy things reasonable for real superior yam just came from gas mask channel and i'm not disappointed what no nah, thank you thank you so much superior is much appreciated i know i'm all over the place also you probably also just seen gas mask in the chat so it kind of is a good connection but i appreciate it dude she even said the the day she went away, why'd you never add bacon? Oh, like, like, I'm not a touchy person, right? I'm just going to fucking pop up my face. So like, I'm not a touchy person or anything, right? So like, if I was going to fucking let somebody like lay on my lap or hang out with me, it's like, I fucking dig you, dude. Or at the very least, you know, you're in that safe zone with the girl. She's like, he's not creepy. He's fucking chill. You should have did it. I don't know what to say. You should have did it. Ask him out. Do it. Ask him out. Do it. What's the worst that's gonna happen? They move away and you missed your chance? That's fucking horrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man messed up, for real. I know that was a stab to the heart. I had so many <laughs> hearts. I'm sorry for you, man. I am too. I am too. Come on. Man, I feel like I need to give advice. My advice is always go for it. Cause, uh, why not? Worst case scenario, if you're really good friends, then, uh, you laugh it off. Also, thank you so much for the follow, Superior. It is much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. But you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Bacon? Just go for it. Ever had a light bulb moment when you finally figured out that someone liked you? Probably mine that I described when I seen her Googling, like, Am I gay? What's it like to be in love with your best friend? Am I in love with my best friend? How do I know if I just really like my best friend or if I'm in love with them? And then I was like, yep, I, I figured it out. I got it. Like, still hurts, but not the memories of her, just the fact that I was a coward. Well, you live and you learn. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've had that happen to me. It hurt a lot. I just, that's my thing. I'm somebody when I like somebody too much to the point where I'm like, this is making me feel like I'm fucking mentally ill. And I either need to bring it up to them or like something because I I don't contain myself anymore, you know? But I'm also the kind of person where I'm like, hey, I like you. Or, uh, what's your number? Or, do you want to hang out or something? What's your shirt say? I like that. Cool. You want to play that game at my house? And I'll just say it. I'll just, like, out, like... Like, I might have been a little bit of bitch when I was younger, but now? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You just gotta get good at gauging people. If they seem into you, they're probably into you. My only rule of thumb would be if they genuinely are dating somebody and they're cool with you, it's probably because they think of you as a really, really good homie. So that could be the thing, but honestly, I don't think I've ever had a friend that like, if I wasn't literally taken, I'd be like, no, I've never dated them. Cause it's like, dude, you're my fucking dog. Why wouldn't I? Is now our relationship advisor. <laughs> I try, I try. And then I figured out that someone else, like, they used to hang out with this girl for months, never picked up on her eagerness to help me. Oh, you know, I can't think of anything. I'm not sure. I usually kind of pulled it out of people. Hard to say. If I meet her again, I'm going to ask her out. It will most likely be a yes, and I will be snuggling a lot hell yeah wholesome moment wholesome moment yeah i can't i don't think so i've never had somebody like oh actually i did have one but it didn't fucking click until they literally asked me out this dude had been trying to like i was at work and i hate being asked out at work because i feel like i'm getting paid to be there and so i'm also paid to being nice so I, when i was working at the library and I had this dude that would like come in and always talk to me because he would, he was like, watch the YouTube videos that I'd have playing. He'd be like, oh, I know that guy. I like them. And so it'd start the conversation with, oh, um, 
hey, do you want to join me on, like, Discord? you want to play games together? I also like MXR mods. You like Skyrim? That's so... And then it escalated. And it was like, you want to play chess together? Whole summer. Whole summer. Always talking to me. And then, like, two weeks before, I guess he was going to move. Because he had a fiancé. And I was like, well, if he has a fiancé, then I'm not... Like, I'm assuming he's just being a nice guy. Because he has a fiancé. Broke up with his fiancé. Was like, I'm moving to a different country. You want to go out? And then I was like... Did I lead this person on? Because I really didn't mean to. But I don't want to be the kind of person where I'm like, actually, I have a fucking significant other. Because it's like, I don't want to assume. It's like, maybe somebody just wants to be a homie. But I felt bad. I was like, God, I hope I didn't waste your time. I really didn't want to do that at all. And I think that's the only time it clicked, I would say. Is when they were literally like, you want to go out? And then I was like, <coughs> Me? The, really? Because I've never had somebody ask me on a formal date. Usually you just get to know them. But I fucking... <laughs> uh. I should have figured out when she showed up at 10pm with soup and homeworks while I was sick as fuck. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so nice. 70% of the time, I will never pick up on hints. Honestly, like, I get that. I totally get that. I almost pissed myself playing a horror game. I heard you talk and I thought it was the ghost and I shit myself with my friend and I forgot about you because it was wrapped up in the blanket. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not mean to spook you. I feel like a dum-dum, but I'm grateful for not picking it up. She is a happily married mom. That's good. Life, life works in mysterious ways. Oh my god, another story? She had brought one too many tickets to Hamilton. Ooh. I don't think that was an accident, though, because she invited me to the original Hamilton musical with her. We did, and then she actually sat on my lap while we watched. She sat on my lap! I'm a dumbass! <laughs> I don't want to talk for all women. I don't even actually know if I should just talk about, like, a gender thing. But people are usually a lot more aware of what they're doing, right? Like, when I like somebody, I know what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm fucking nudging, right? I'm like nudging. I'm getting fucking close. I'm fucking edging them to see, like, how much I can do before I can know officially if I can just go for it and we're cool and like each other without that horrible feeling of regret. You know, but like, I know what I'm doing. The, I'm sitting kind of close to you. I'm sitting maybe a little too close to you on the couch. Like, a, like the, like, a, I'm looking at their, like, mouth, you know? Like, I feel like it's obvious, but maybe it's just me. Too many tickets to Hamilton that used to be crazy rare. It was no accident. For real, though. Edging? Oh. I just want somebody to love me, but I tend to fuck any relationships I try. No, superior. No. What? How? I will say, I think some people are more prone to long-term relationships than other people, personally. Anyone here play Roblox? If so, play Spectre. God, God damn, it's terrifying. Oh, no. Also, what's she on about? That's fair. I'm grateful for getting older. People know what they want and are more straightforward. Yes, yes. I think as we get older, there tends to be less fucks given. Or if you just have a fucking... Like, I'm pretty introverted. But when it comes to people I like, I kind of just fucking throw everything to the fucking wayside. Oh, by the way, when she asked me why I never asked her out, I asked her why she never asked me out. And she said that she was going to, but she wanted to build up the confidence. Wanted me to build up the <laughs> That's, okay, so I don't think it's fair for men to have to be expected to ask somebody out. I don't feel like that's a fair thing. I think if you like somebody, you should just try to ask them. But if you're super shy, I guess, I guess... So, she was trying to help me by not asking me out. No. She wasn't expecting me. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. She was going to, but wanted you to build up the confidence. And then you, and then you never built up the confidence. Let that sink in. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, that's, that's a shame. That really is a shame. Is a bummer. I guess you learned your lesson in a hard way. I get that. I get that 
Oh, by the way, we could have sex tonight isn't sexy, but it really helps with tension during dance. <laughs> oh my god. We'll bang okay. We'll bone okay. What the fuck does he say? We'll bang okay. What is that on Mass Effect? You guys know what I'm talking about? Gamer poop? We'll bang okay. I love that. Oh my god. <laughs> She was gonna venture, and unfortunately, she had to move. She had no choice. Okay, so it was kind of just a bad timing. I fear, I feel you. Relationship convoys, convoys, convos can't relate. I don't have that. I just, yeah, yeah. I don't mm. see. That's why you just gotta go for it. I get antsy, and I'm like, I've been in love with this person for like eight months. Um, if I don't say something, I'm gonna go fucking bonkers. And then I say something, and it's it's worked out. The like two times I've tried to pursue someone. Just so whatever. I suppose radical um, beliefs, but I suppose they're only like radical, but they're more just old beliefs, really. No, it's. it's they're kind of radical if you're willing to shoot up a whole building because you don't get any poon. Sir. Yeah, did you get her number? I'm getting back in the relationship market. Ready to get hurt again? I feel like if I wait longer, I just won't have the will to return. No. Is one of them a Discord mod? Yes, Superior. We're, we call him an outsell, because I don't think we're allowed to say the other word. It sounds like, uh, like I had another like metaphor, like death by a thousand cuts. You know, It's not like one pivotal moment, but it sounds like a bunch of things built up. Dang, look at that tank top. He's ready for that gun show, dude. Time. Yeah. Uh, one gun show. Here, you guys want to see my muscles? I think they're getting better. Check out that. Look it. It's so good now. I actually have a little line. Ugh. I can hit like 18 pounds on a dumbbell now. Only doing like shoulder presses though. Lat raises, those are bitch. OMG, tomboy e-girl streamer. <laughs> Me choking down fucking chicken all the time, dude. I will get these fucking- I will get this gun show fucking ready to go. I'm gonna get it. I'm actually gonna start going to a real gym because I sized out on my dumbbells. So now I have to go to a real gym. Because, uh, I don't- I don't, can't pay for them. They're getting so expensive. My barbell, my dumbbells, I don't have any more weights. Uh... Tell you what, that dude in a tank is fruity. Dance. <laughs> we can't say that. Come on now. We can't say that. He might. He can do what he wants. He can. Uh, maybe. 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 I gotta look at him again. Maybe. He seems like a nice guy. I don't know. He seems like he'd be nice. He gives the facial features like. Like he'd be nice to people. Well, Zuchi said the day after I had to move, I was gonna ask you. Oh, well, more like just demand if I demanded she meant that we both knew we liked each other. Just, yeah, waiting for the moment. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he's for sure fruity. <laughs> oh, why we gotta do him bold like that? Damn. It's not like one pivotal moment, but it sounds like a bunch of things built up over time. Yeah. Yeah, he got upset. Uh, one of the common criticisms about the incel community is that you feel entitled to sex or intimacy. That's my thing. You, somebody, th he thinks he's owed Poon. Poon rude. I don't think it is. He takes too much care of his skin and the hair. It's hard to work to look neglected. Damn. I don't think I really have Gator. I got this weird thing in my brain. I assume everybody's bi. By default, I assume everybody's bi. I don't know why. I just, just, I don't know. I just assume. That's, that's my, that's my basis. And that's it. Also, I did ever know we just slowly drift. Oh, okay, gotcha. Why is that one guy's ear going 90 degrees? Whoa, 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 no. We're not gonna body shame him. <laughs> I'm an alien. He's a Chad, yes. Huh, you know, maybe, maybe. Well, there is the metrosexual, right? Plaza can take care of themselves, but 
are straight. Gay outsells because gays are sexually overcharged. <laughs> On that grinder. I mean, grinder, I feel like it's just anybody. All of it's good. Deserve sex or intimacy. I wonder if that's because women are told to not be as, like, sexually rowdy versus men are more, like, put on a pedestal if they have, like, hella body count. I wonder if there's, like, a like a thing between that. I'm a woman. Um, I think everybody at some level deserves someone that they, someone that loves them. I don't know, and, don't ask know, me. Respects them as long as you are also someone that loves everybody. He's sweaty. some level deserves sex or intimacy. I'm a woman. Um, right. I think everybody at some level deserves someone that they doesn't have monster equals kidney stones. I mean, yes. I've never had a kidney stone. I drink water. Come on, look at it. All right. Here, you see? You chug a little bit of this. You chug a little bit of that. Kidney stones pass. Don't ask someone. Who's his, what's his body count? I don't feel like body count's that important, but I feel like this guy right here probably thinks it's important. Yet? Yet? Oh no. Oh no. Imagine having kidney stones. <laughs> Sad confession. Some oh fuck, that man is. Do you see his perspiration? Dude, fucking let that shit glisten, dude. I want to see that, that they... fucking sweat. Do you see that? He is fucking wet. <laughs> He's wet, dude. Come on. I thought you wanted to talk to people. Why are you sweating? You stressed out? Mm hmm. It's probably the lights. Look at that. Look at that. Man, that's so much gamer gunk. Good lord. That loves them and, you know, mm -hmm. respects them as long as you are also loving and respectful towards that person you know they're they're an equal you know you're not like uh seeking some okay we're equals i sexual is fine grinder so aggressive picks or get ghosted dick before sundown or get ghosted jeez my place i don't eat plasma with starts with gri in the beginning and every time i try to look it up it always shows me grinder first and i'm like i don't i'm not allowed there phone I'm not allowed. I have a, a stream idea. Ooh, I'm down. Monsters till I get kidney stones? Oh no. It's just a compilation of me fucking shotgunning them. Uh, I will say, though, that they really did anything sexually because they both said no until we're dating. I don't want my first time. I don't like it. They only did it once. Oh. Interest. Well. If you boned, don't you think... Wait, wait, hold on. Are you saying you boned this girl, Bacon? What the fuck? You, they didn't ask her out, but... Okay, I, all I'm hearing... So you couldn't ask her out, but you could put your dick in her. Make them... Make that make sense. Like... I'm sorry. Am I understanding you clearly, Bacon? Yes, I boned her. Bacon! 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 What? Because we was horny. Well, yeah, of course! Like, no, it's because you weren't- Yeah, of course, but like... How can you do the nakey nakey with someone, but you can't ask them out? The confidence! Come on, you- <laughs> What? Bro, come on. Now I'm more baffled. Now I'm more baffled. Like, plenty of people I banged and wouldn't ask out dance. <laughs> I mean, like, if you're really good friends, you're hanging out, you have that jive. Like, I couldn't imagine. How about if you wanted to go into a dating them? Are you telling me that you would fuck somebody without asking them out, even though you want to date them? Because I feel like if I'm willing to bone somebody, I'd probably have enough gall to be like, oh, want to make it a thing? You know, it was literally perfect for me. Yeah. Ask me anything. Make my man you need to. Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. AMA. That's what it means. Ask me anything. Which, like, dude. Bacon. Bacon. Bacon.
bacon come on and you were like i don't know if she likes me though like I'm so sad. I'm sad for you. I don't mean to. I feel like we're rehashing the trauma. Someone beyond yourself. You know, you don't have like too high standards, I suppose. You know. <laughs> what are we on about, someone bro? Someone beyond respectful toward them, and okay. you know, respects them as long as you are also loving and respectful towards that person. Okay, you know, equal they're, people. They're equal. You know, you're not like. Uh, they're equal. Seeking someone beyond yourself. You know. You're not you okay. Don't have like too high standards, I suppose. Right. Okay. I see on bacon banging between horny people is animalistic and primal. Asking somebody that requires to be emotionally vulnerable and to be psychologically ready. Hmm. I suppose. I don't think if I was emotionally into somebody and then we banged, I would be able to separate the two. But that's just me, so. Oh, no, we're not. I've been mostly remembering the awesome memories I have. Okay, good, good. Nothing but mammals, thank you, guys. But I was going to waste it and say, when was the last time you shat yourself as a joke? But then I thought it through. It was a good choice. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, like, really? I don't know if Twitch is going to like that. Twitch already, I sometimes I feel like if I was bigger, I Twitch would be like, like, Twitch would just be, like, if this was, like, the fucking button, like, they'd be this close to being, like, we're gonna fucking ban you. What the hell did you say? I just, I fucking feel like I'm always tiptoeing. But you know what? It causes some good conversation, so it's, it's whatever. It's, it's, pfft. You know? Okay. You can tell the world about something about being incel that, you know, um, that may not be in the internet or that's overlooked heavily. What would it be? Mmm, good question. Maybe it's trauma. Maybe it's defense mechanism. I can compartmentalize. I think you're right, Dance. Obviously, sex and love are separate, but I think if I was, like, basically in love with somebody enough to want to ask them out and date them, I don't think I could bang them and separate it. You know? But, like, the two can most certainly exist separately. Like, I've had a friends with benefits before. No emotions connected whatsoever. Literally, purely just want to bang after school, and that was it. There was nothing to that. Like, no, I don't ever want to have like a, any like label thing going on. Whatever. If I want to cut this off, we'll cut it off. So, I, so I get the separation. Totally get the separation. If I'm emotionally into somebody, I'd probably have a hard time separating it. So, in the event of like you bacon, I'd have a hard time separating it. But that's just me personally. Right, right. You kind of were already like there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know. I think it's. You guys remember when this was an eight? You guys remember when we were gonna watch an eight minute video and fucking <laughs> here we are? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Why am I like this? Can I say something also by him? I don't. Okay, we're gonna. Derek? Derek? I feel like his hair needs to be brushed. He needs to brush his hair. He needs to comb it in the shower. It feels really messy. I know it's curly. I have curly hair. My hair curls a lot better when it's shorter and also not bleached. Um, but he could clean it up a little. You know what I'm saying? We've been on the same 30 seconds for the last- I'm fucking- Oh, I'm horrible with the pausing, I know. It's actually 1 a.m., so it's a vibe. All right, that's good. I appreciate it. Um, that may not be in the internet or that's overlooked heavily. What would it be? I don't Oh, photograph! Thank you so much for the raid. It is much appreciated, dude. We are working on that drama. There were four people. I don't know why. Uh, dude, I don't care. I appreciate you coming to hang out, dude. I appreciate you hanging out. Come on. <laughs> You do not need to be all like, you're fine. You're fine. Just fucking play it. <laughs> play it or else. Yeah. Oh, no, I think it's okay, something we don't know about the out cells. Okay, okay. Also, how is Stream Gap? How are you today? Mostly that most of the men are not inherently bad people. A lot out cells aren't bad people. Note taken. Some of them are just lonely. They're lonely. Note taken. They just need some help.
<laughs> Lots of town. Oh, no. Okay. I didn't even prep one. All right. I'll get. I'll get one real sec. Oh, they're cold. Fuck. They're cold. All right. We're gonna do a cold one, boys. <sighs> I'm gonna have to piss after this. I can promise you that. Heck, mini fridge. Wait, I got you. Are you gonna bring a, a different one in? All right, I'll take it. Hi. Just fucking play it. No, we got a shotgun now. We got a shotgun. Uh, or the cat gets it. No, no. <laughs> Fifteen biddies for the one that got away. My current. Yo, thank you for the delivery. All right, we're gonna do a, a shoddy gun. Sag. Let me do this right. All right. Okay. We're not going to spill it this time. We're not going to spill it this time. But I do already have a monster in my system. So. <laughs> oh, damn. That pops so nice. Damn. That opened like butter, dude. You can watch a prepper video to survive economic collapse. Afterwards, so many of them are delusional with main characters. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. I didn't mean to be on this one for so fucking long at all. Excuse me. Tea, lemonade. Did I just come back to you shotgunning a monster? Yeah, we had a we had a redeem. The only person I've ever seen chug a monster ever, and that's impressive. I mean, they're not carbonated. I would say Gas Mask do ch does chugs on his stream sometimes. And uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even fucking chug. I feel like it just pours down in like a fucking sink hole. I feel like it's meant to be when two people are unofficially dating. Oh, fuck. Did I miss something? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to roll 666 on Tinder for this lol. <laughs> Yes, uh, need me a girl that's six foot six inches, six figures. Exactly, dude. Exactly. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Here's your results for not fucking. <laughs> no, no, the cat died. No. <laughs> well, Shake was Ando's iconic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I might have to take a pee break. Hopefully, we get through this video. I'm gonna need some- I'm gonna need some fucking carbs after this to absorb all of this caffeine, dude. Alright, alright, we're playing it, we're playing it now, we're playing it. We're playing it. No, you didn't, I just wanted to- okay. <laughs> no pissing, you know, come on! Really? Okay. I don't know, I think it's mostly that most of the men are not inherently bad people. A lot of them are okay. just lonely. They just need some help. Everybody is- Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, Thank you should be, because you are dirt! You make me sick, you- uh. Uh. Really? Okay. Would you say that there's anything that other people can- Everyone looks so nice on this, but also her mic looks like just like a phone cord, doesn't it? No way, he's actually talking to a real- Dude, exact- No fucking way, it's gotta be an optical Dude, illusion. Do guide? Or just support? They just have to be in separate rooms, right? We need a, a bank kill- Wow, redeem? No! Uh, that could be directed to the outside. Ooh, mmm, that's true. I was asked if I suck dick by a mash you saw the bifling my bio. Then she unmashed me- What?! So if you ain't pegging, we ain't matching. I feel like, you know what? Why would anybody be against that though? As a lady, I don't see why I would be against pegging somebody. I'd be like, that's cool. That's sick. All right. Yeah, sick, dude. Hell yeah. We need a shut up, bitch. Oh yeah, with the rod. Oh, you're so, yes, yes, yes. I should use a soundbite that you sent in Discord. That's a great idea. 
I just always forget. Pegging is pog. <laughs> pog or nene. Pog nene. Pegging heart emoji. <laughs> don't say that. We don't know your age. It's you can't say that. <laughs> Thank you, Gasmish. You can't you can't tell me your age. It's a secret. We don't know. Say what exactly? My father is a motherfucker. You know what? Yeah, that's a fact. Totally. Uh, because I can't it's a technically against TOS. Also, technically, my streams are flagged for 18 and older. So you can do whatever the hell you want, but like Alyssa getting buff and ready to peg? I'm like where this is going that's what i'm saying you just gotta fucking do some squats get some fucking rdls get them f fucking hammies tough and then you can have the muscle mommy peg moment sorry too many monsters that's a problem uh all right <laughs> i'm over the age limit i'm not saying yeah yeah i got it <laughs> i left the chat Muscle mommy? <laughs> we need to watch this outsell. We need to watch the outsell. We went too far. What is he talking about? Or other people can do to help guide or just support? Or okay, her question is how do we support the outsells? I think the best way to support outsells is to just get them a pocket pussy and call it a day. I think there should be a fun, right? Get the outsells pocket pussies. I would donate to that. You know, the, the lonely person in your class. Or the, the age of is over. Buff pegging mommy. <laughs> Shut up, rule the internet. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I've been pegged once, and I don't want to say anything about the... <laughs> what does that mean, Bacon? What does that mean? <laughs> hmm? I don't like the term pocket pussy. What's a good, um... I think it's better than fleshlight. That sounds gross to me. The fleshlight's worse? Well, yeah. pocket pussy is just like a little bendable, I don't know, fold them up, put it on you. Maybe you could be like... Bracelet coochie? <laughs> put your fist through it, wear it as a little bangle? I'm sorry. I'm basically saying that I've already said a lot about them. <laughs> Bacon. Goofy ass <laughs> Carry cooch. Uh. Travel hole. Uh. I'll stop. I'm just saying, though. What's the problem? It, it's fine. It's like, you can literally get one for literally like five or six bucks on eBay. It's whatevs. The out cells need therapy, even with hyper-realistic bots. The void in their hearts and cravings for they won't stop. They will keep spiraling. I I agree. I agree. Travel banger. Yeah, why don't they just support a small business or something and, like, hire an escort? I think that'd be nice. That'd be, that'd be nice. Boo! Change the... <laughs> I wish... What if... There, is there a tomato emoji? You could theoretically just spam tomato emojis, and then I feel like it would look like you're throwing tomatoes at me on the screen. <laughs> right, that should be it. I should have a fucking, like, redeem like that. That would be good. Uh, I feel like I should write these things. I'm gonna write these things down. No! Where are the tomatoes? Sag. Sag, Sag, Sag. I need to take notes. I need to take some notes. All right. We've got... We've got... Do I need these? Is this important paperwork? And this is my life insurance. Let's not write on that. Anyways, in case you're wondering, that girl that got away pegged me. Pretty but You know, Bacon, I got the gist. I wasn't trying to get you, but you know, wifey material, dude. If she doesn't peg, oh fuck, I need a good saying for that. I want to find a good- if she doesn't peg, then she doesn't- I need something. There's something. There's something there. 
I feel like there's something there. Like, there could be some potential in what I'm saying. All right. So we have got Wah Sound, Tomato Throw, Bitch, Rock. I've made no. I've made the. I've made the notes. I've made the notes. Let me guess. He'll be telling us she sucked his dick for sixty-seven hours straight in a minute. <laughs> Uh God damn it. <laughs> damn it. Oh, I love that. Oh my god, dude. Oh shit. Okay. If she doesn't have a cock ring, then she doesn't deserve the diamond one. Fucking exactly, dude. Exactly. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> uh I like how my brain danced when you were like, I don't feel like girls do the same thing. I'm like, what do you mean? I can literally have any dick I want. That'd be sick. Like, I could have like three dicks at once. Like, are you kidding me? That just sounds baller, dude. She let me hit eighth base. No. Uh, if she don't peg, she better beg. <laughs> I was thinking something, but I'm like, how could it be like... If she don't pipe, then I don't... She ain't ripe? No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm on a tangent. I'm on a tangent. What the fuck's our question again? The lonely person. More than two is a challenge. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> oh, gosh. Support? Two is a good limit. Two, uh, two I think is good. You know, the, the lonely person in your class. Have you, some of them are so fucking, they're like, I'm sorry, we're gonna, what the fuck is he talking about? So the lonely person mm -hmm. in, in your workplace. All right, how to support incels. He, okay, we're not getting them. All right. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe he's an incel and he's not letting you know and he's just kind of afraid to, you want someone positive. Just, just be nice, say hi. Oh my God. Outsell, yeah. Try and make friends with- What, did I not say that? Did I not say it correctly? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Them. You don't have to date him, you don't have to whatever, just, you know, brighten up someone lonely's day, I suppose. Oh, okay, <laughs> noted. <laughs> Thank you. I maybe. If she ain't gonna get the strap, she better be strapped down. <laughs> oh my god. Support outsells, be their friends. Get stalked and okay. See, that's my thing. That's my thing, right? It's like just be nice to them. It's like yeah, but then sometimes people are nice to them, and next thing you know, it's like what the fuck, bitch? You denied me. Die. Like, it's like that one story I seen where she where he was cat calling her, and then because she didn't respond positively, he just killed her. Like. You. <laughs> You don't want to be an incel? No. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's part of the whole... It's got to be kind of fun, right? You could be part of, like, a little group. You have, like, your friends. You can, like, chit-chat bullshit. You got your little forum. Oh, voluntarily thing. I mean, I, I you know, you want to try and escape it. You want to be something better. You know, you want to uh, get a wife, get a girlfriend, get someone who loves you, spend, spend your life with them, and be happy. This music is making me feel like I should care, but he's still just giving me the same vibes, you know? She cannot pound the relationship will not be sound. <laughs> oh no. Uh real talk if you want to help outsells, get them mental health care. That way they need to be deprogrammed reverse brain lock. You know what? I would agree. Moral of the story, um, the US has horrible health care. Moral of the story is that it should be more easily accessible as well as people should be educated on knowing how to figure out what is covered and how much by their providers i do think the pandemic has included some more mental health care like i know my insurance covers going to a therapist as much as needed um but not all things are like that but possibly that might be getting addressed i don't know uh what's one thing you wish people understood better about you 
I don't know. I, I, I guess I, people, I wish people would recognize um, how much effort I'm trying, I suppose. Like, you know, I'm working out typically daily. I've lost over 100 pounds. Me too. I guess I'm old dick now. What's his point? I lost weight. Give me that poontang. Like, the pandemic has exposed the scale of the ongoing mental health crisis. Oh. Million percent. Million percent. I'm out there job hunting actively. Yeah. I people recognize okay, so his thing is I have tried to work out and I'm trying to get a job, which means he's unemployed, but he's trying to get a job. So he's owed sex. What's his point? Everybody does that. Daily, I've lost over 100 pounds. I work out regularly too. I've lost like 80 I'm pounds. I'm out there job hunting. I'm, yeah. Actively. I don't think people recognize. Everybody's doing that. Everybody's just working and taking care of themselves. No, wait, uh oh. How much effort the incels in general try to put into bettering themselves. I would say, you know. His fucking point is so bizarre. Right? I'm bettering myself, so why are the women at my doorstep? Like, dude. The guy in the yellow jacket? Oh, Derek? They just assume that they're all like lazy and, and, and sad and angry at women and. Well, you kind of are. You kind of are. You literally posted, like, revenge prawn of your ex-girlfriend after she broke up with you. You're bizarre. Health and things of that nature, I suppose. Okay. You don't have I know, me too. Okay, and? You lost weight, so now you should... It's your life. Here, I got- I have a thing for you. I got a thing for you, Derek, personally. Um... Nobody cares about you and you will always be alone. No one is there for you literally ever. No one will be there for you. You want to go to school? You want to start a business? You want to get a job? No one is there for you except for you. So you have to be your own homie, dude. No way he was in the male rights activism. I know he was. He was too. And he, and he, fucking introduces himself as such he's like by the way uh i'm derek i'm like 20 something and i'm an outsell it's like hey all right derek nice to meet you like way to sound like a fucking like alcoholics anonymous meeting not about the job we're working out some less than attractive jobless mofos have girlfriends and wife he's focusing on the wrong things yeah that yeah I don't, I would even argue with his platform he has now, he could, he could just, he could be doing a lot. He can do a lot. It's not hard. It's really not. You have to see the bad things in the world and then come out a bad person. You can just see the bad things in the world and then improve upon yourself because of them, I suppose. Okay. So you do have hope. Yeah, I, I, I have, I have hope, yeah. I'm mm. a very hopeful person, I suppose. I won't lie, mm. this went a lot differently than I thought it would. I thought, I thought we'd be yelling at each other, you know? It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, too. Thank you so much. Huh? That was nice. Hello, thanks for watching the video. Now, because I just need to check. I'm going to do a quick... Yeah, he is shitty, though. I would totally agree. Perhaps he's just a contrarian. He reminds me of somebody who would order... Fuck, at a drive through and then get mad when they won't take his real order afterwards. What the hell? Thankfully, he's an evolutionarily... And, and, and his bloodline ends with him. Oh, my God. Let me see. Derek from Jubilee. Okay. Oh no, he has a Twitter. Oh no, he has a YouTube? Uh, I'm saying goodbye to the internet. I know that might sound cryptic. It's not really anything bad. It's just, uh... <laughs> uh. I'm saying goodbye to the internet. Hold on, he's uh... uh. I'm saying goodbye to the internet. I know that might sound cryptic. It's not really anything bad. It's just uh, I know how to achieve happiness in my life, and I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do that and be around on here anymore. Uh, I don't want anyone to worry or anything like that because I know I do have some people who watch and. Care. He has a Discord server. He has a contact email. He has his literal Discord profile. He has his Twitter. He has a Patreon? He has no patrons. 
Oh, he has <laughs> he has a fucking vault boy. Ah, uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, re I, re I no, I don't agree with that. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll be able to maximize the money into being able to sustain myself for a hundred bucks a month? Because he lives with his mom? Internet crash. I'm sorry to hear that. No fucking way. I shouldn't have went down- I shouldn't have went down this path. Cam Doritos got a shortage- shortage for real. Dude, I feel like I, that was rude of me. I was like, oh, he has a Patreon? Goes on it. 100 bucks? What the fuck can you- Dude, if you only need 100 bucks, just fucking sell your blood, homie. It's not that hard. Okay. I- okay. You, can you guys look at this with me? Can you guys just tell me your thoughts on this? I think I went somewhere bad. I shouldn't have been here. Hey, careful on Twitter. They don't have- Oh, I'm not gonna search it. Okay. I, I was only gonna show you this main page. No, I'm not searching Twitter. I will be scared. We're not oh, yeah. doing that. I just, I just need you guys to see that. They don't have any that. restrictions, I feel. Oh, no. Titties, buttholes, it's all cool. I found him from this video. Oh, well, yeah, of course you guys did. Of course. I wanted to know if there was any, like, drama. Because I'm pretty sure there was, like, some, like, drama bullshit. And I wanted to see if what I seen was correct. Because I don't want to be all... Wait, there's a wiki? I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you, okay? Because I, I don't know, but this is a full-on outsell wiki. But we're just going to keep it on my face. All right. In September of 2020, his girlfriend and wife broke up with him. Okay, right. And then I'm pretty sure from that, he posted some weird shit. And he... Oh, actually, I think I was wrong. I don't know. I think he did post some videos, but what happened was we had a girlfriend. The girlfriend broke up with him. And then he posted a video saying that because she broke up with him, he was going to unalive himself on his YouTube channel. Directed at her. He essentially was trying to, like, make her feel like it was her fault for it. So he's, a, he's kind of a shit guy, just saying. All serious, and I've got a serious, strong, overwhelming feeling of loneliness. <laughs> oh my god, no. I still have a two liter of Jack and Coke. See, I think we all need that. I think we all need that. I can't go down. I'm not gonna... This is a whole rabbit hole, though. I just want to say that there's a lot going on. I'm worried. He has a YouTube channel, and he's just a fucking menace. Anyway. I'm gonna do a bathroom break, and then we're gonna also check out Dance's video, okay? So, un momento.
God, fine, fine. Okay. This dude's now an alt-right activist. The outsells hate the members. Oh, no, really? He's hated? Oh, yeah, because he had a girlfriend, and then everyone shit on him about it. And he quit when he received all of the hate. Well, my thing was, it's like... I don't know. Why? It's your truth, so go with it. No matter travel world, currently has four dogs and one pup. Mmm. That's wholesome bacon. Wild as fuck. Outsells don't like male right activists claiming... <laughs> oh, my God. I know. i seen that they were really shitting on him about it. I'm surprised. Isn't the point to, like, graduate from it or whatever? You know what I mean? Like, isn't that the whole point? Okay, let's see. Ah. Hey, Dance, can you resend that link to me that you sent really early in the chat? Because I'm trying to scroll up and it is not popping up. Big Sag. Used to have five dogs, but when froze to death in the sinking snow. Oh. <laughs> Fucking sinking snow. Agreed. Agreed. Good lord. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. Yeah, I feel like my chat pauses real early on. But yeah, if you could, my dude, that'd be sick. It's been a while since I've even played Minecraft. Minstraft? Uh. Yes, thank you, Dan. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna deal with a little bit of trauma. I was gonna say, I'm probably- I started some food. I'll probably wrap up stream after the food's done, so I'm not sure. Maybe 15 minutes? 10, 15 minutes? So if we don't, I'll probably finish the rest of it on Sunday. Just to give everyone my preface. Because it's about, it's a little past eight my time. Okay. Let's start this bitch from the beginning. Disaster strikes, the time to prepare has passed. 2020 has been a wake up call for many Americans, showing how things can quickly take a turn for the worse. We experienced prosperity and calm for quite some time before this year, but we've quickly seen how that can change. One disaster or perceived calamity can cause panic. More than one catastrophe at the same time could lead to a prolonged grid down situation. While the region might recover after a few days or weeks, a national incident could leave you on your own with no help coming. If a significant enough event were to occur that completely disrupted our supply. Yes, I want chicken. Is this going to be like uh, advocacy? So like, uh, you know, it's just general warning to everybody watching. Um, learn something. Survive. Supply chains and resources. The results would be catastrophic. Most people don't have enough food or water on hand to survive much more than a week. I In agree. this video, we'll I cover wouldn't. what you can expect when a national disaster over 90 days occurs and how you can prepare now. Please consider subscribing to Is our this newsletter a tip? to give you updates and membership-specific <laughs> content. I feel like this might be a tip. <laughs> cityprepping.com forward slash newsletter or click on the link in the description and comments section below to subscribe today. Enjoy the video. Any disaster on a national or global scale can quickly How turn into against... How bad news for you, Roblox streamers have an average? Well, yeah, because they have a bunch of kids watching them. Tons of people get really good views on Roblox, and then as soon as you don't play Roblox, nobody watches. Neighbor, the calm social order you enjoy will be flipped on its head just after. I've seen people. They they can they get you get good ass views, right? And then it's like, uh, like I'm sorry. Um, but if I found out that all of my fans were, like, 10-year-olds, that'd make me fucking depressed. I feel like the people who watch me, I think I would actually want to hang out with them in real life. You know what I mean? And if you find out that, like, your fans are, like, fucking cringy little fucking edgelords with, like, maverick hoodies... <laughs> fuck, dude. I don't know what I would do. But I would know I was putting out the wrong fucking thing. You know what I mean? Yeah! Yeah, exactly. Which is also, there's a reason why I say, like, mature audiences. Like, I'm sorry, but when you fucking sign up for something, if the site makes you confirm it with your parents' email, then I'm not for you, you know? Oh, understandable, dog. Understandable. For a few days. 
And not to be weird, but I was thinking, and we all know Rule 34, you do exist, assuming my schizoids aren't acting up. <laughs> my schizoids? Oh my fucking god. Dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, a creeper existed purely to ruin my day. <laughs> no! No! That is the best thing I fucking have heard ever, Superior. <laughs> we all know it exists. We all know. Uh, Jesus. That most people aren't prepared to survive to. Ooh, I don't. Sometimes chat doesn't line up with this. <laughs> Uh, that's so good. That's so good. Dude, at one time when I was like, I don't believe in Rule 34, and I look up just like way up, right? Shouldn't have fucking did that. Dude, I feel like every single Rule 34 is always topping the charts with like morbid obesity and pregnancy, furries, and then a mix of all three. Every time. Every fucking time. Why is that? Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna say that Prawn Hub is really fucking missing their niches, dude. They really need some new fucking categories. Dude. I have angered an Enderman? No. No. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Like, whatever floats your boat, I guess. I just... Huh, it's... It's... I feel like the people that are really into art are always the ones that do things like that. I'm like, guys, just relax. They remind me out of 500,000 things. 400 things have the furry tag. No, no. On it? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to, you know what? I'm not going to let my brain go down the fur. We're not going to go down that rabbit hole. Because if I go too far, I'm going to want, I'm going to regret it. Squeak of supplies. Were we're learning, we're here for the education, right? Cut off let alone for 90 days or more. Okay. There is, however, a timeline that generally follows this ass. As long as you keep real animals out of it, we don't care. So not Black Mirror. Point taken. Uh, have you guys seen that Black Mirror episode? It was, I forgot what it was, but he had to like screw a pig in order to like prevent some fucking catastrophe? Like save people or something? Save his family, maybe? It was like, if you don't screw this pig on national television, your whole family's gonna die. Something like that. It was like a whole Black Mirror episode. He was like a fucking mayor? I don't remember. Investors. Knowing this timeline can put you one step ahead of the herd and keep you safer amidst the chaos. And this video will analyze the days, yes. weeks, oh, and yes. months following a catastrophic... Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Iron Hand. Thank you. That's exactly what it is. There we go. You jolted my memory. The Rule 34 content doesn't correlate to the popularity of the king, only the balance of the community. Tis true. Tis true. Damn, I'd have to tell my family to go and see it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Can't do that one for you. Uh. National disaster. I'll tell you what you can expect along the way and provide you with solutions you will need to... Didn't they, didn't, didn't, it wasn't the major plot twist. Actually, you know what? I won't do a spoiler. You guys can watch the episode if you want to see. Survive. It's a good show though. Okay. I feel like this video was going to give me a crisis and I'm then going to feel like I have to go to Costco and buy three giant buckets of month long ration food. Just a statement. The first three days. Another dog died, but so so did Petey. No, Bacon, no. All that's left is his feathers. Oh my god. The music right now in MC really sets the tune. No. You talk. Come on, Bacon. Come on. I was thinking Squish. Oh, the huge ones for real. I went Prawn Hub once and it was for a dare and it was to watch Bandus Gaming, and which I succeeded and never went back on there since. When you go on Prawn Hub for the comments, oh, the comments, oh, perfect. Where Squishmallow can. <laughs> if I had to fuck a pig to save my family, I would bang the pig after they are all dead. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> just to be a savage, dude. <laughs> just, just for the point. 
Okay. Depending on the national disaster, the first 24 hours can be relatively calm. <sighs> Hydrate, posture check, you're right, you're right. Flex on them. <laughs> if you're in the aftermath of a storm or an earthquake, this is a period where people are emerging from what is left of their shelters and making sure they are unscathed. Okay. If it's a disaster like a national power outage, most people are still relatively calm. We put a great deal of faith yes. in government, public services. I only go to Prawn Hub for comments. It's either bots or horny 50-year-olds. Oh, million percent. Million percent. I'm surprised Prawn got flagged. Am I not allowed to say Prawn anymore? Corn Hub? Do they like Corn Hub? Is that one cool? Guard and military to restore our world following a disaster. This period of calm can last for about two days. After that, things begin to reveal how broken they really are. Mm. Stores that cannot process credit. And corn Hub is an actual thing? It is. What is it? Corn. I think it was an April Fool's joke. Do you want me to go there? Yes. Yeah, go I do. there on my screen. Okay. And debit transactions cannot sell to people without cash and banks that cannot process. Oh, that's so true. Two days out of electronics, I just wouldn't be able to buy nothing for Young real. Young corn stars getting hot in pool corgi. Mass popping party. Do not play if you pop quickly. Corn simulator. Deposits and which Hold frequently asked. Hold on. Don't, don't go there. I don't know what else is here. I want to see it. Fine. I'll have to check it, and if it's allowed, then I will have to, we'll it's enjoy it together. functioning just in time delivery services that replenish grocery and pharmacy So we're all going to starve to death. Do so, and shortages of some items begin Whoever to that occur. man is, he's this a chat. This even more panic buying, which further exacerbates uh. the problem. After 72 hours, people will begin to realize that help is not coming and systems will not be restored. The stress level of the community will start to boil think. over. If stores haven't been looted yet, it will uh. surely begin by the third day, as those who fell to prepare. You think after three days, people will just start looting? I guess I'll have to prepare. There are sometimes spicy ads on Corn Hub. Don't risk it. Okay, okay. I won't. I won't. All right. I won't. I won't do that. Pair will desperately try to grab up the resources they now realize they. Weird. What are you into, dance? Hmm. A little too much cob content. Sheesh. I need. If you have prepared, you can avoid being caught up in this dangerous time of desperation. That's it. I'm gonna have to spend like fucking thirty dollars on soup now. If you have not, expect to be stuck with the herd making runs on stores. Likely, the police I'm will not be out. able to keep ahead of the crime. Look, bro. After three days, I'm standing. What are you talking about <laughs> for real? Bob on the knob, like corn on the cob. Why'd you censor knob? Knob is offensive. Just to be safe. Okay. I'm into consenting adults <laughs> with healthy aftercare. Yes, exactly. Corn hub is safe. I didn't see any risky stuff. Ooh, okay. Well, that's good. To, that's good to consider. Pretty bur burial site for PD. Did you gather as feathers? Local curfews will be established, perhaps even martial law. What should you know about and do in the first seven? I have never seen a flood in real life. Frame the pork chop? No, 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 no. Petey is the parrot. I want that court stop. No. Your first 24 no. hours is a little bit of a golden window for you to act. <sighs> You'll need to decide if you're going to shelter in place or bug out. You should immediately fill every container you have with water and the likelihood that pumping stations will cease to operate. Should I be taking notes on this video? My house got flooded multiple times when I was younger. Yes, I put his feathers in a chest. No. A flood is terrifying, especially when you have mosquitoes and snakes. I was gonna say, I've never... I don't really think flooding happens much around where I'm at. Despite being, like, generally surrounded by water. Like, the water levels will, like, raise sometimes, but I've never seen, like, legit flooding. Your water may be gravity-fed with those enormous... My house is flooded before, especially as someone who lives more down south. Mosquitoes are rampant. Ugh. Yeah, I'm super north. It's just fucking cold and dry. It's usually just cold and dry. That's it. Basically Canada. Basically I'm in Canada. That's essentially the weather I have is Canada. 
tanks you see on the hillsides around and i'm town. on water like if i look out my window i'm by a lake i feel like food and gas are important things to have reserves of especially in the u.s i would totally totally agree totally agree but those will not be replenished i should I, in the best likelihood i should probably have enough gas to drive back to where my family is at because that's just straight up woods straight up we have backup of food straight up like good basements benefits of small town areas solar panels and generators finished in a prolonged grid down situation legit i was having a great time the fucking creeper killed pd and bony then and i just would have oh i was gonna say i just would have reset but you're on a server so you just have to suffer sad very sad if possible, you should gas up your vehicle. Maybe they, maybe you should have just kept them back, back at home. Gas can't stay good for more than a couple of years, if I'm correct. Yeah, like, you'd probably want to do buy it up when it's hella cheap, so probably not now, but... I'm on my own world. Oh, what the bacon? Then why didn't you just be like, I fucked up, and then reload? Or does, or does Minecraft autosave? I don't remember. Vehicle. Within the first 24 hours... Oh, how did you do the integrated closed captioning? Well, I got a actual... What did I get? It is a... I'll just look it up. Here we go. This, actually. Here you go. This all this, you plug it in. It becomes an OBS plugin if you use OBS. And then you don't have to like open shit in a browser. It's just all through it. But there you go. Yes, of course. And then you can customize it, which I'm sure you're probably clicking around and seeing, but it's pretty nice. Gasing can last between three months and three years depending on the type of gas and if it is properly stored. Ooh. I thought it had a lower expectancy, but yeah, I guess if you stored it in good conditions, I don't see why it wouldn't last a while. I'm sure they have plenty of gasoline that just fucking sits, so... Hmm. If you need to go to the store, do so with cash if there's any supplies you need to top off. But again, only do this if you have no other option. I don't have cash. As it is likely that people will be in a state of panic. So don't plan on this being your primary plan if you fail to prepare. Evaluate accordingly based on the knowledge of your local stores. In the Which country do you think would be the worst to be in when having to prepare for something like this? I'm not sure. There are additives for gas storage? Oh, no, I did not realize. Electric cars would suck in the post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> Me wanting an electric car? Sad. You know, I always wondered, how would an electric car work if you also had solar panels? Like, could I just, like, attach, a, like, a big-ass solar panel on, like, the roof and then just, like, live my best life? The gas sold in most gas stations will last more than a year. People can't afford the good stuff, only corporations. Mm hmm. I didn't realize that. Hmm. First 48 hours, you should check in with your mutual assistance group if you've established these types of relationships. If you live in an apartment complex, you should coordinate a floor or billing meeting to discuss posting guards at the entrances and other strategies to keep your billing safe. Though phone and internet services may be down, apps like Bridgeify that utilize mesh networks may still allow you to communicate with others or get news. CB or ham radios can provide you with critical- I'm freaked out. Guys, I'm just slew guys. That's what you- <laughs> That's what you had to say? I got halfway through that and I was like, Damn it! <laughs> yeah, it should power the car, but it would have to be connected, right? Yeah, hmm, hmm, I'm not sure. Even with gas, without the right people to keep the grind in shape, you will lose. Mm, thank you. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. First country, you'd be looking at mass looting and murders in China, but in African countries, especially South Africa, you'd be looking at food sources as it is, so they'd probably be the worst. Mm, those are good points. Those are good points. Critical communication abilities. The CB should be part of your prepping supplies because they are very affordable and vital to communication. I'm freaked out now. I'm like, I'm... You're right. I should have prepared. <laughs> Capabilities. You should also monitor your emergency radio channels to assess the extent I don't even have an emergency of the disaster radio. Base your you would need to store the power from the panels, then distribute it to charge the car. Tesla has a product called the Powerwall. Oh. 
Yeah. Let's tell me this house must look like a prison people in Africa are used to hardships and shortages. People massively die in cities, but outside of them? Mmm. You know, I feel like in our nice little, like, privileged areas where everyone's like, what the fuck do I do without electricity? Why can't I call my mom on my phone? What am I going to do? I feel like that would probably be the worst. Not really any training, no survival education. Most people probably couldn't even really make a fire without literally having lighter fluid. Decision on whether to bug out or bug so, in based upon this information. Hmm. If you have a police scanner, you can monitor the chatter to determine how the disaster's aftermath is unfolding. Don't give too much credibility. What about nuclear warfare? What do I do if there's nuclear warfare? The Starbucks girls would die the first day. <laughs> oh no. Uh, free war as bad as it is with an apocalypse and with no incoming physical, it would be a lot worse. Like, they have shortages as it is. Without war, famine on top of it, nuclear, <laughs> you die. I could probably survive six months in the middle of nowhere with a minimum number of pills for malaria, because I know the truth. I would say I'd probably give you credit with being much more educated, yeah. Nuclear war with who? Well, I died. And I told myself when I died, that's the world over. Oh, like survival? Full survival? I have a survival world that I've been on for a while. I play hella safe, though. Mmm, Korea. What if we just had full-blown nuclear war with Korea? Do you think they would shoot one thing and then we would just say, like, fuck it, and then just... Can we just live with dance when the world is... <laughs> if the world ends? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Pro I mean, that might be not too bad of a bet. Yes. Enjoy. New map is a mapping mashup that calculates the effects of that All right, I'm interested. Hold on. This seems messed up. All right, I want to see. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Let's say... Let's say, yeah, let's just do Chicago. I think Chicago would be a good place. Let's say... um. Oopsie poopsie, North Korea shot something at us. Mm, that doesn't seem too bad. That's nothing. What is that? That's not much at all. If the largest bomb ever hits Dublin, I'm still safe, Pog. Nuclear would be terrible if you survive the radiations. Nuclear winter and starvation. Herbic oh, most certainly. I always just like to pretend that it would be like Fallout, but I know that it would just be a lot of suffering. I'm just saying, like, what if, okay, what if we went to North Korea? What would happen? What is something we have? Oh, no. Oh, no. These are huge. What would happen if North Korea accidentally exploded themselves? What? That's nothing. This ain't, this, these are so small. These don't seem that bad. Well, I mean, obviously it's bad, but it's not like, you know what I'm saying? You know, am I saying something rude? I don't know if I'm saying, I hope not. These just don't seem like they're too bad on the grand scale of things. You can change the bomb size. Well, I'm just wondering if, like, let's say North Korea's weapon just exploded accidentally. Largest USS bomb designed. Tested. I want to go with largest US bomb tested. Okay, let's see what happened if the US oopsie poopsied themselves. Hmm. Kind of big, but not that big. I mean, it would kind of destroy an entire city, though, wouldn't it? I need to not zoom out. I'm too, thinking too large scale. I need to think like, I'm sitting here. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If North Korea exploded themselves, oh no. Like the drop down number to two? How about radioactive fallout and casualties? No. So the pandemic in the U- oh no, so how would like COVID fare with a literal nuclear bomb? That nuclear warfare, there's mad mutually assured destruction, thank you. If a nuke drops somewhere, everyone is going to nuke everyone. It won't be localized at all. Let's economy class is the most ruthless dictators. 
Mm -hmm. That's like all of Chicago. No, you're right. You're right. That's why I was like, I need to not zoom out so far. I'd be dead if that happened. Oh no. Don't have a hover where you live. That'll be. What are you talking about? It's not anywhere near me. That's why I picked Chicago. This? Safe. F for bacon. F in the chat for bacon. Interesting. What would happen if we launch multiple? Multiple. Let's fucking go. I know, it's not right now, but I don't want to be like, hmm, would I? <laughs> hmm, would I survive this? Nuke self? Just curious, just wondering. Uh, yeah, this seems okay. Eh, it could be worse. Center ground zero. Cancel the current query. Cancel. I want to put a bunch. Do a bunch. Launch multiple. Detonate. Detonate. Anyway. Honestly, I'll probably toy with this. We're back at it, though. Rhea got something against Chicago. <laughs> it's like, damn, what the fuck's your problem against Chicago? Why you gotta nuke Chicago? What'd they do to you? No, I like Chicago. It's actually really pretty. I do a lot there, but the fucking... It, the buildings at night are beautiful. But then I'd be too stubborn to determined to see the girl that got away again and <laughs> not die. See? In case of nuclear warfare, your best is to die in the atomic fires. Almost no one will make it to the future. There are hypersonic missiles. Oh, you'll have less than five minutes. Dance. You ever feel like sometimes knowing all of this causes existential dread? Like, do you feel like knowing all of this is good? Sometimes I think I just try to try to block it all out. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just like to pretend to not know, but also, hmm, honestly, nuclear war scares the fuck out of it. Like, you think talking about it is good, or are we all just having a, just a one big circle jerk crisis? <laughs> By the way, I still have our number, and we still text here and there. Well, that's good, you know, you know, that's, that's nice. Is that 100% gone? Hmm. Guilty to the word of mouth rumors and gossip. Especially, don't base your decision. I think I think the lessons that I've learned today is uh, I need to really prepare for the worst. <laughs> Maryland won't be directly beat nuke, but definitely going to be impacted, so I have better chances than the Americans. Like, fuck. <laughs> Just a warning, me by the way. Decisions on this type of communication. Oh no. Assuming you have. I like to hope I live somewhere kind of in the middle of nowhere, where they'd be like, "Who the fuck cares about that state, dude?" Prepped in advance. Your most significant decision hope. in the first 24 hours is going to be whether you should stay or go. Your window of opportunity Please. will begin to close after the first 24 hours. Roads will begin to fill up, and travel will likely not be a safe option any longer. Ask yourself, can I make it 90 days where I am? Even if the answer is yes, have a bug out plan and bag ready if the situation forces you out. Your solutions for the first three days are to have some preps in place already. Yeah. Maybe I should prepare for the worst. Hmm. I'm permanently used as membership to the bad club. No. Along with a bug out plan. All members of your network or family could implement the communication plan you've already put in place before the disaster. You should monitor- How do we follow up out cells with nuclear fear? If we have nudes, we can't get nudes. Like, once a month we talk for a bit, we make sure to ask if we still date each other Then she, when she comes back. It has been yes every time. One time it was even, I'd have to be insane to say no. Well, when is she moving back, Bacon? Potential what the fuck? Problems like nuclear power plants or dams. When's she coming Most back? Most importantly, you need to assess whether staying in location or getting to a safer area is possible, which is your best choice during... Right. Knowledge isn't a curse. It's just a stress testing for your anxiety tolerance. For example, if aliens invade, anyone who won't surrender will be nuked by everyone else. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> for real, for real. In this golden window of uh, opportunity. The first week. Within the. I don't know, and she doesn't. No, uh, Bacon, are you fucking first with week, me? Come on, supplies now. Supplies will be gone. Either purchased or stolen. Medicines will begin to run out. And people with medicine dependent lives will turn to hospitals for what they need. 
Hospitals may not be able to admit and help many people if their power cannot be restored. Totally. Police, medical, and fire services will Hospitals be overwhelmed. And you cannot don't rely, rely on, on it. The declaration... No, we're talking... No. <laughs> ...martial law is very likely as governments attempt to keep the peace. As we saw this year, people will likely not accept martial law. Vigilante security groups will probably spring up in neighborhoods and communities. Clean water may cease to flow and trash and human waste will begin to pile up. As sewage plants fill, municipal water supplies or local rivers may become contaminated. Natural gas and well, electricity will Well, hopefully I wish you the best of By luck, the end of the first week, the levels of circulating cash will be Let me know low. when you're moving. <laughs> Barred items like food, water, and durable goods uh. will begin to rise in value. People will be either trying to leave populated No, I, I mean, I believe you now. I just, you're right. It's fucking insane truck. timing. They will just be arriving back to their city home if they decide to return home to find that I the would. landscape has changed considerably. Remember, the golden Fresh window it. to either stay in place or bug out is really Wow, that road hours. transition's peculiar. After that, you're competing with a herd every step of your journey. Your solution for the first week is to take a mental inventory of your supplies and try to get all your family members or groups in one central defensible position. Uh -huh. Do not share, even at community or billing meetings, the extent of your supplies. If you do, your supplies will likely be taken and divided up by the second week. Yeah, fuck everyone. Complete surrender to alien invaders is based on the fact that the aliens will simply redirect an asteroid to Earth and give us the dinosaur treatment. The risk of nuclear winter and nuke apocalypse pale in the face of them. Mmm. Mmm. That's a good point. I guess in that case, it's like, well, I guess you have to fucking take me, aliens. I don't know. Oof myself. Holy fucking shit. Awesome news. The timing of this is all too convenient. Ooh. Superior. <laughs> oh, no. Generator check. Well, water purification system check. Just need the solar panels and geothermal, and I'm ready for the apocalypse. What am I talking about? We'll be out of food in three days. No good, no good on the rationing. You'll uh, need to use a large bucket and trash bags to remove waste from your living area. Mm. If it's more than just you, a 24-hour watch system at your home must be established. The night will bring the greatest conflicts, as desperate people will try to use the cloak of darkness to keep them hidden. She says she'll be back next month, Bacon. You've got to be fucking with me. Well, I expect updates, sir. Martial law. Big pog, actual poggers moment? Actual pog moment? For local police may still provide some protection during the day. Yeah, what is this coincidence? This is a whole fucking sitcom, Beyond dude. just your home. Know what is happening in your neighborhood and community. Stay in the well-trafficked areas if you have to venture out during the day. Why do I smell peanut butter? Am I having a stroke? <laughs> I'm so confused. My chicken smells like peanut butter. Did you know some people put peanut butter on hamburgers? And I'd eat it. Just saying. It's just my lucky day. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, it sounds like all the all of it's falling into place. What a good story. Second week. By the second week, crime, looting, and marauding will rise. Stores and pharmacies will have already been looted. Mutual assistance groups the will lip spring up in some right communities, out of it. neighborhoods, Ew. and buildings. These will vary from street gangs to militias to armed citizens. There could be conflicts between these groups, though they will likely be pretty respectful of boundaries Fine. in the early weeks. Your opportunity to travel has <laughs> Roads impacted by people fleeing population centers will be littered with abandoned vehicles and will Your be far too unsafe to travel. Blocked by the Many will bots? be living out of their <laughs> cars on rural land they could get to, and they will suffer being kicked out off that land. Oh, by that? Oh. International borders will be closed to stop because the Because that's refugees. rude, all right? Governments will issue stay-at-home orders, his curfews, or attempt to relocate hasty. people in mass. Oh, no geez. sign of recovery. Hospital and emergency workers will turn I'm to their own families. More and than happy ever. I'm, to good to, I'm glad to hear possible. that, Bacon. I gotta say, I'm. It's so perfect with timing that it's very surprising, but. 15 ounces of fucking chicken, bro? Holy ball sacks. I'm ready. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You bought the big chicken? Yeah, I bought the chicken breasts that are just the whole fucking body, dude. A water purification system will be useless. You're by irradiated water. Unless you have the big ass military hardware, also, you assume the new king will collapse or. Water dessert. Mmm. Smarty smarty. What the problem is a pipe dream if nuclear winter happens? You find yourself on 
I have black liberty. That's true. For real, for real. Get it, get it, dude. Chicken overloads. <laughs> yes. Make sure the windows are covered. Avoid cooking in lights at night. When cooking, add any spices after flame out to avoid releasing scents into the air. I've never known. Wait, hold on. Say that again. When cooking, add any spices after flame out to avoid avoid releasing scents into the air. You'll need a purifying water Sorry. you obtain that isn't part of your stores. Stay put and stay hidden. Oh my god, that man looks so fucking sad. What kind of stock image is this? All right. So, we What do you have to tell him? All right, imagine that your wife is dying in the other room and all you can do is peer at her through the hospital window. Like is that what this stock image is? Has to be. You'll not find food or medicine anywhere, so there's little point in venture. That spices to cooling or cold food because you don't want to attract hungry people. Yeah, that's so I never even would have thought of that. He's looking at his wife and kids. Figuring out. Your solutions for this period are to have the foods and medicine you need in your preps. Mm. If you formed relationships with your neighbors, now is I haven't. the time to start discussing food rationing and how you'll work together if you're not prepared. At this point, you have all decided to hunker down, so you're all in it together. Never reveal all your supplies, but it will be crucial for you to have a large supply of food stored as you may be the only resources your neighbors have. Fuck that. If none of my neighbors prepared, fuck you. Sorry. What are you gonna give me in return? Teeth? It's a pa- it's a- dude. How fucking insane would that be? Yeah, I'll give you some oats. For your molar. <laughs> I feel like I would either, like, not want to deal with it, and I would just, like, oof myself before the madness starts, or I'd be that crazy person that has, like, a fucking ear necklace. Like, there's no in-between. Ugh. This petrol friend, she still looks just as pog as the day she left. In fact, I'd say <laughs> bacon. Oh my gosh. Stop. This perfect lady. Come on now. Bacon. 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 Good to hear, though. Good happiness. Happy moments. The Star Wars nuke defense system was allowed to become a ne negotiation piece after it was calculated that they actually won't use it. Hmm. Same as the resulting effectively end the world the same. Mmm. You need to always display very low supply. People will get suspicious if you can't. They decide to raise. Mmm. Mmm. That's true. It's why you know how a paranoid person works? Uh, a lot of thinking, right? Just a lot of thinking and planning. Always barter a cup of beans or rice. Survival or instinct, for real. For things you know you will need in the weeks ahead. If someone wants to charge their item with the solar generator you have, you should try to have some costs associated with that. Right, Otherwise, what... they'll be at your door repeatedly using your resources. Avoid giving away your valuable preps for nothing in return. Okay. You should have medical kits and books to allow you to care for your- You know, what would be a good exchange for my resources? Probably not tea, eh? Hey? Hmm. Self and others. The loaning of prepping books you've already read and- You know, I do have a thing for- What if I chain my oats to teeth? That'd be kind of sick. You guys could collect molars every hour. Hmm. I like that. Do not need a reference is the only exception because you want your I'm going to make a note of that. I feel like I don't eat a lot of oats now. The teeth are cool. Also, I feel like it would cause questions. They'd be like, why? And I'm like, you don't get it. Teeth channel point. Papers would be knowledgeable and not a burden. If sewage is down, you may need a community plan for removing waste from the your living areas. What the fuck is wrong areas. with me, dude? Play inscription and collect teeth? Oh, that card game? By the end of the third week. This month will be the longest or fastest month ever because I'm just waiting for the girl. No, I will not be saying names anytime at all. Oh, you don't. Don't do it. I don't think I, I don't even know your real name, Bacon. You're just Bacon, you know? Also, if you have thieves or raiders, they probably will take the low supplies rather than look for the supplies. Some people are quite hard to read. I try. Hmm. Hmm. Miss so Bacon bot? Yeah. This guy will be a curiosity. If it's a car on the road, it likely will signify potential danger. Are there still Hydration. no communication or signs of recovery? 
You'll be stuck where you are, and you should give up the prospect of any recovery at a national level. You'll have to rely mm. upon your network for protection. My real name Marauders is Redacted. Marauders will be an ongoing threat. It will not be safe to leave your network alone. Can I ask you one question, Bacon? Does your name start with a J? Just out of curiosity? That's all you have to tell me. If you and your group are to survive, your solutions are to delegate responsibilities based upon areas of expertise. Any nope. Okay. Just curious. Just curious. Current or... I, it's just, I find it fascinating how, like, male names starting with J are the most, is like the most common letter. I just, I don't know. I just find that so weird. I don't know. If you want to survive, you need a ride or die group, or to be able to lone wolf in the wilderness. I feel like lone wolfing would be the best. You could never guess mine. Why? Is it a hard name? You guys, I can't even ask you to guess mine. It starts with a vowel. <laughs> The literal J. Or former Leo or military should be in charge of implementing a security plan. Fuck them. Sorry. Go Anyone on. Anyone with medical training will have to provide those services. Again, mm. don't reveal all your food stores, but contribute maybe a pound of beans and a pound of rice. Those will... My name starts with the... No. No. Really? Need several people and keep people from getting desperate. The reality that you're all in this together will sink in for many, so you'll need to provide direction to steer. He looks like he's had a hard life. Maybe loan a book or two to people who show they have some expertise. As a community, you'll need to obtain water by draining water. I think the U.S. would do fucking horrible in trying to survive because they're because so, I guess I'm gonna say we because we're so xenophobic. Every like I don't even like talking to people because I just assume everyone will is going to kill me. Like, I can't imagine having to work together and communicate, you know? I don't even think people can fucking function using a grocery store efficiently. Everyone has to fucking cock block each other with their grocery carts. You know? It's not uncommon, but not as common as a J. Okay, all right. setting up a rain collection system. You'll need to lead the thinking on these things. The ability to provide survival knowledge to your community will make you an invaluable... I have, I have the art... Am I allowed to say I have? I don't know if I'm allowed to. Is there allowed to be new versions of them? I'm not even sure. Bacon, thank you so much for the biddies. So many biddies, Bacon. You gotta save them biddies for other people. One to two months. By now, think- This picture had to have been taken, I feel like, in 2006. Only because of that style of t-shirt and uh, that style of jeans. I just, it gives me that Things vibe. Things are up to you and your community for survival. You know what I mean? Help is coming. As a prepper, you will become a valuable resource if you can help your community. Tough decisions will have to be made. Rationing of food within your home. Roles will have to be established and skills yeah. brought to the table for everyone to work together. Many hey, envision- Cynthia. Hello, Mal. Hopefully the trauma from losing nearly everyone in the nukes will make people value human lives and labor across the unaffected U.S. areas. You know, maybe. Maybe. I want to say hopefully, but <laughs> that's hope. There's not a full-on fucking... Catastrophe? Sorry, I tried to hold back the bits, but I'm in too good of a mood. <laughs> uh, I get it. I get you. I get it. Sometimes I get like that too when I buy biddies, and then I'm like, just take them all. I bought the biddies now. Just take and all the biddies. After a significant disaster and no help is coming, that they'll simply be an island to themselves. What if I donated biddies to somebody in like a fucked up Morse code? Like, what if I just did like one ten, one one ten, or something real? I call for help through through bit numbers. Premature bit ejaculation. Is you. This will not be the case. People will know what you have. And if uh, you haven't started forming ways to help others near you that can help you in return, you may have an angry mob at your doorstep. While many mm -hmm. in the proper community envision that they'll be fine making it independently, if you live in an urban It could be a group with a shitload of guns, but if we're going to die shitting yourself because so That's true. That is very true. Environment. This simply will not be the case. Remember, manpower will be critical for survival. Dang, maybe we'd all become skinny legends. That's a that's a bonus. Survival. That's kind of the a good one, right? Just that's sitting cool. on a stockpile of food is simply not realistic, as others will figure out quickly who has food and who does not. You know, that would also be interesting, yeah, because with like everybody being really overweight in the US, I wonder how that would work with rationing. I feel like people just fucking gorge on the food. It is in this moment that working with and not against your neighbors will enable everyone to survive.
three months. After three months, it will be apparent that. Holy fuck, we've been live forever. I never streamed coming. this long. Governments usually. won't restructure. Jeez. After such a long natural disaster, any government that shows up in your city will not be there in a friendly helping capacity. I agree. Get ready for them more to cap you. Community against community as they compete okay. for natural resources and remaining resources. Hopefully. You're stuck where you are and may be subject to whatever jurisdiction rule holds the most power. You'll likely no longer be in a populous area. Either you left or they left. The death toll right. from a prolonged SHTF situation can only be estimated. But even in the low mm, estimates, only one third of all the people. I would struggle so bad, dude. I feel like I could maybe think, I like, I would probably do it up. I'd go slow, right? It'd be like six. Let's try eight. It'd be 10? 24, though? Y'all would be watching me sleep because I. Pff, no. People would rather be cannibals than to learn farming in the U.S. once they realize that they cannot make the difference between healthy and disease. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I won't lie. I'm not paying the most attention to the stream. I mostly check. Bacon! Are you kidding me? Why would I? Bacon, you're fine, dude. The timing is impeccable. Absolutely don't stress about that. <laughs> I'd watch you sleep. <laughs> That's what the stream would have to be. Or like reruns, maybe? Half of, I would just air reruns when I'm unconscious? People I don't know. People will not survive in the first 90 days. Gone will be the uh, elderly and anyone with a significant medical condition. Those receiving medical treatment or anyone in fragile health. Expect mm. others to die from violence, starvation, dehydration, illness. I find it weird that people's nails go, like, way under, like, the finger. Like, it's weird to me. Rerun sounds okay. I, like, maybe have that running for a 24-hour stream, because, I don't know. Watching me sleep just seems, I don't know. Like, I guess, like, you can see my nails. My nails are usually kind of long. But, like... I don't know. Like, my nail bed goes to the tip of the finger. I don't know. 12 hour stream? I could Almost do that. 12 hours? That seems a little aliens. more. That seems a little more. The tame, reality yeah. is that most people can't walk 10 miles, find food or water, or. You're right. Or have the knowledge and skills to survive outside the fragile systems they rely upon. Mm -hmm. The world will look very post apocalyptic. And either small communities will band together mm. and rebuild by sharing labor, knowledge, and resources, 14? or it will remain I don't know. very fragmented. By now, you contribute something to the sustainment of your network community. Damn, she's in an apocalypse, but she got that French tip? Sheesh. Your community may have established trade or alliances with other communities. As much as it is common to think that as a prepper, you'll be able to go it alone, the reality is that you'll need a- The Amaranth and Esteban stream while they both just fart and snooze while sleeping? Oh no. I mean, she does have those fart jars now. You survive unless you're completely the two birds with one stone, I guess. For most preppers, that type of wilderness survival isn't a possibility. For most, survival will depend on the cooperation of others. Understand how it breaks down to understand how to survive. There will be no okay. electricity, no water, no hospital, no government, dead telephones, and no internet in a prolonged grid down situation. Know your location and assess your place before you find yourself in such dire straits. Ensure you have paper maps and know the areas of nuclear power plants and dams which may also fill. Knowledge is power. Yeah, I'll so fit. I'll fit it. We'll be able to finish the video tonight. This is pretty interesting. Police scanners, radios, television, CB radio, ham radios, and some word of mouth will be critical. Mm. Any information you can obtain from these resources will be useful. Running water will stop. Pump yes. stations will stop. Yes. Gravity-fed water, those big tanks on the hills you see, will continue to flow for a while, but they will run out since they are not being replenished. Fill the bathtub and every container you have, as water flow may stop. Water heaters tip. These are such smart tips. It's so smart. Well, people just sound like they expect the world not to end. This happens. <laughs> I, I'm watching this video. It makes me feel like the world's going to end soon. Typically hold around 40 gallons of water. So you may need to tap this resource. Although, I mean, if you think about it, hell, our fucking pandemic, it was just like most of humanity would be. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, like. We I mean, we ran out of full on toilet paper, like. <laughs> couple weeks into the pandemic and everyone was just like freaked out they started upcharging hand sanitizers we said how quick everything went to fucking full anarchy so sustain yourself you'll need the absolute minimum of at least 90 gallons of water per person to get you through the first 90 days why do i need a gallon of water i could live off of half right i don't think i would drink that much water although i guess if it's fucking hot then I'm wrong. 
They expect to survive short term after the end. Surviving long term after cannot be met. Mmm. That's what I was thinking. A lot of people do not drink nearly a gallon a day, but I guess if it was like really fucking hot, then that yeah, you'd burn through it. includes all drinking, washing, and cooking. Actually, cooking too. Cooking. Yeah. You simply cannot survive on how many days. <laughs> that includes all drinking, washing, and cooking. Okay. That makes sense. You simply cannot survive on less than that. If feasible, strategize and implement a rainwater collection system. That would work, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, my brain totally didn't even... From day one, start rationing your food. Think soups, broths, totally. You need a lot of it because you'd be doing more physical activities and wouldn't risk... Right, right. I realized as soon as then, I was like, oh, that's uh, I have air conditioning and I can just sip it and I don't have to do shit. No, you're... T yeah. And water. The more I don't thought about it, the more I was like, okay. Be a healthy fat person after people have suffered for a month. You will be a learning people. The same mm. is true for cooking food. Make sure the scent is it caring or you will attract others. Mm -hmm. You will need months of food. Most view this as caloric needs alone, but make sure you're looking at the nutritional qualities of the food. Protein powder. Protein shakes. Understand that mm. if you're hunkered mm. down, you will not be burning a ton of calories. Right. If you're on the move, you will be burning lots of calories, but will be on a... I would like the end of the world to be like fallout. Fallout after towns have already been somewhat established. Able to carry all the calories you need for a journey of a week or more. Ensure that you have 90 days of pet food on hand and remember their water needs are different. They can. Oh, I don't even think. Sorry. Fuck the pets, dude. I'm sorry. I don't. Drink rainwater without ill effect. Cash will I'm only the sole survivor. I'm the main character. After the first couple of weeks, water, food, and durable goods will be of more importance. Mm -hmm. Bartering will hold more value in a prolonged or indefinite collapse. Supply chains will stop. The just-in-time delivery system with lean inventories will collapse relatively swiftly. Supply trucks will cease to deliver. I'm worried. Expect stores to be looted before the end of the first week. Take advantage of any supply handout. Get weapons. <laughs> for appearance. Why haven't we talked about weapons yet, I feel? I become the guy with the suit of power armor going ham on everyone with a fucking gun. That, you know, dying by Kami Whacker is just, just disrespectful. Some necessities, but don't sacrifice your safety if they turn into chaotic mobs grabbing resources. Mm. Even if you don't need the food or water, you can trade for items you need like winter coats, blankets, or other critical items. That's true. Prepping... Also be smart about storing. You don't want food poisoning or toxic mold. Oh, hell or yeah. Hell yeah, totally. Last more than dining. I feel like this is inspiring me of like, like I want to learn how to can food so it lasts a long time and like vacuum seal it and shit in like jars. This is certainly a really good reason to do that. Learn how to make jerky efficiently. Oh yeah. Imagine getting your skull caved in by via Kami Whacker. The disrespect. What a horrible way to go out, dude. It's extreme, but it should be your minimum goal. Mm. If you can survive the first 90 days after a collapse of that magnitude, you'll lie. Just coat your, your food in salt and you could just... Okay, okay. I mean, I definitely now I'm like, I should probably learn how to do that. How deadly food poisoning can be, how much resources and water are needed. Oh, oh, you're totally... That's a good point. The amount of fluids you're fucking passing... You'll likely be able to survive the long haul and make mm. it to the rebuilding phase. A return to the way things were before a collapse of that magnitude just isn't a possibility after 90 days. Totally. Fucking paddle ball. Dies by squirt gun. Survival is possible. Dies by, what was it, the, the thirst zapper or network. something? What the hell is Apart that? Apart from the items you've stored up, your significant assets will be your knowledge that you can bring to your community. Take a look at my other videos to understand the things you'll need. Set your prepping goals for a target of 90 days out. You'll find I don't know what kind of skills I would even have for, in this. The more your chances of survival increases. At each significant phase Therapist. of the 90 days, a week out, two weeks out, etc. I et can't do that, dude. Assess whether staying... Coca-Cola Quantum Squirt. Is that fucking Fallout branded diarrhea? <laughs> what the hell? When you get food poisoning in the pond, you try to hydrate yourself with gives you M. No! Finding no! Finding a location or finding some place new is in your best interest. Likely, the window of opportunity is closed. But you'll find a caravan of people. I like the mix of stock images between like the world has fallen apart and nice old rich guy just old doing stuff. To move. Your best bet after the first week or two is to stay put. Mm. Please feel free to put any suggestions, tips, or information you have in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please Monster. click the like button and share it with mm. Congratulations. With your friends and family and community. 
If you have any comments or anything you'd like to share, Light please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section below. Subscribing to this channel is easy. Get your follow Brandon Diary today. Exactly. As a the thing is requiring to keep stuff somewhere dry with good air flow. Really cool. Celsius. Dance, I feel like you're the one that's gonna have to make a fucking survival handbook. Ugh, at least you're better than Moira. Fuck Moira, dude. Boys, stay safe out there. Wasteland survival guide? Ugh. That was a good video. This is like a, I feel like a note-taking video for sure, though. Like, this is, a, this is some important shit. I'm like, oh, download the Start Preparing Survival Guide here, homie. He's got the guide. No, do I have to pay for it? Wait, no, this seems so good. Wait, hold on. Oh, all right, whatever. I'd give him an email for fucking surviving. Dude. I'm gonna check that out. That looks sick. That's the part of the follow nobody's modded in yet. <laughs> Leaving the vault, the first 200-year-old fancy lady we would give you the shits of a legend? Seriously. Where's my diarrhea mod, though? What the hell? If I survive and make it to America, get me a girlfriend and I'll get you sus. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is America all that hyped up to be? I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it. I don't know. I'd have to be more worldly traveled in order to recommend a place that I've never left. You know what I mean? If we get nuked, you're dying for sure. What the hell? No. No. Who says? Come on. I know people. I know people. At least I grew up in an area where it was just regular to be constantly fucking hunting and on, like, a bunch of farms. I know a bunch of farmers. Come on. Come on. You know what? I think I would fare better than people that are literally in cities and have never left the city. I will say that. Could I be more better off? Of course. Of course. But I think I'm like mid-tier. You know what? I, I think I'm mid-tier. I would give myself mid-tier. I'm, I'm not great, but certainly mid-tier. Because <laughs> I'm the main character, and I would be the hot buff guy with the machine gun in one hand, and the hot chick in the other. <laughs> I would at least be a named NPC. You have died of dysentery. <laughs> I want a mod that does that. Dude, could you imagine if I was playing the frontier and I like picked up something and ate it and then it just goes black and it's like, you have died of dysentery. Get fucked. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna wrap up the streams today. Ugh. I make up my mind. If shit hits the fan, I'll abandon my family. They need too many medications and are quite... in shape for wilderness. They're fine. They're all right. You know what? I will say, I don't need any medications. My daily life does not have any requirements. So I think I'd be all right. Do I have any food allergies? No. I don't have any food allergies. So I'd be fine. We'd be. I think life could be worse you know but now i feel like i should really start preparing all right fuck it i'll start preparing for the end of the world and then <laughs> oh fuck no okay i need to get lasik eye surgery okay i need to get lasik and then after I get LASIK eye surgery, I would fare better. Okay. You're right. You're right. The eyesight... Hmm. Hmm. Alright. That's fixable. I can- I can fix that. That's fine. I can fix that. Eyesight, I can fix that. Also no talks about it, but... Periods and shits after- No, see, cause dance, all you need is a diva cup, right? Okay, so- So I get some LASIK. Maybe some tubal ligations, just in anticipation to fuck it, why not? 
That's covered. I'm probably gonna do that soon anyway. And then I just get one of those little fucking diva cup things. It's just a little fucking silicone shit. Just fucking shove it up there. It's like, what? Rinse it off? It's cool. It's good. Reusable. What of it? You know? It's fine. Just gave me one of those. Those last for years. Well. I have a lot of things to think about now. Hmm. Badge. Condoms aren't gonna make it? Yeah, you're right. So, LASIK eye surgery. Uh, some tubal ligation. So... And I'm hella infertile, dude. And then a diva cup so I don't bleed everywhere and attract animals like in Predator. Okay. Good plans. Good pep talk, guys. Good good pep talk. <laughs> good pep talk. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. My food is ready. So uh maybe we'll go more on this tangent when I'm back on this Sunday. The average shelf life of a condom is three to five years, depending on the manufacturer and how it's stored. Oh lord, be infertile, and then you can fuck your way out of a. So like in Fallout, but everyone turns me down, and then I occasionally get a store discount. Worst things could happen. Yeah, exactly. All right, all right. We got the three things now to do. I have my top three priorities if the world ends. Good to consider. Good to consider that. All right. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, everyone's fucked. They should just prepare in anticipation on so you wouldn't want the STDs won't vanish after the apocalypse. Fucking just dies from that and said, Herpagana syphilates? Hmm. Okay. Food's done. I'm hungry. I appreciate you guys for coming to hang out. I'm now having an end of the world crisis. Um, but best to be prepared. I'll catch ya on Sunday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I'm gonna post my Discord for any new homies in the chat who aren't a part of it and wanna be updated on on stuff. Ooh, yes. Okay, yeah, for Sunday, all right. I'm ready for more prep, more crisis, more uh, me. Okay, I'm leaving since I'm talking to this girl. Good, understandable, Bacon, understandable. Hope you have a good rest of your night, which you probably are. Extreme. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I will probably watch that. And then you can remind me more about how I will be an incompetent person at the end of the world. <laughs> and how to improve. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. See you.